Welcome guys, let me know if you can see and hear me. Think everything's working today, knock on wood. I <laughs> probably just jinxed myself. <laughs> but welcome guys, welcome to the stream. Oh my god, I'm so excited, but uh, also pretty nervous to uh, <laughs> see what happens this time. And thank you guys for the happy birthdays. It's, uh, it means a lot, it means so much to me. It's, you know, it's a little sad, you know, when you turn 980 years old, but <laughs> just to have you guys supporting me, <laughs> to keeping me, and keeping me young, you know, that's just, just keeps me, keeps me going. Okay, um, I think, yeah, we can probably just go ahead and start. Um, remember, yeah, she was kind of going down last time. The old, the other old man <laughs> got, like, got boom killed, it seemed like. It's like whole, uh, kind of office just got, like, blown up. So I guess we can see what is going to happen next. And I think everybody can see me. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thanks, guys, for all the happy birthdays. It's like how every message is just, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, Weeby. <laughs> oh, man. You look so good for your age. I know, I don't look a day over 700. And yet, I'm 980. That's crazy. You know, just drink a lot of water. <laughs> Keeps you young. Starting to lose trust in old men now. I have been there, okay? And y'all, y'all didn't listen. Y'all didn't listen. You're like, oh, Weeby, she's old phobic. But I was right. I was right. Okay. Where am I? Hmm. <gasps> oh, what the? Oh, sh what the hell is that thing? <laughs> Oh my god, it's turned into a horror game all of a sudden. Huh. Honestly, the shadowy part kind of reminded me of Yako's what, hair. What was that? But I knew it wasn't him! I know it wasn't him! Oh, that's so sad. Oh yeah, let me, uh, thank you, Kiru, for pointing that out. Let me pin that really quickly. And thank you, Dabbler Dragon. Happy birthday, Weeby. Look forward to suffering. Already suffering. I like mistook the ghost for Yako for a half second. I was like, oh god, too soon. Too soon. Where are we? I don't know, but it doesn't look good. Oh man, this place is giving me the creeps. Kind of like a more traditional Japanese house or something. Well, let's just look around and figure out where we are for now. Oh man. <laughs> what the heck was that? No, wait. I have to figure out where I even am. Do be looking like the back rooms right now. <laughs> FNAF, FNAF at Freddy. Five Nights at Freddy's at Freddy's. Oh, it was like the first thing I saw in chat when I looked over. Thank you, uh, Nocturne, for being a member for, wow, 13 months. Dang, that's all over a year. I love this chapter so much. Enjoy chapter five, Weeby. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Appreciate ya. I'm looking forward to it. But already a little, a little scared. Uh, it do be yak over, isn't it? Ruin room. Is... It's a real mess past this point. I don't think we can get any further. No matter how hard we try. Oh, no. We don't have to go there, do we? Let's see what else we can find first. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Five nights at Makoto's. This probably is Makoto's house, isn't it? That's kind of what my assumption is. I don't know why he was looking so uh, ghostly, though. Oh, wait. Hey. God, you might go. Th no! Go there first! Oh, hey, Karumi. it's Karumi. Oh, man. Ah, pain. Pain. I want to just, come on, just grab the gumshoe cap really quickly. Come on. Uh, we'll do it later. It's fine. She's dead! Uh, no, you she's wish. not. <laughs> yeah, I was just being hopeful. Kurumi, wake up. Kurumi. Oh, thank goodness. Yuma? Where am I? I don't know. I just woke up too. I don't know. I don't want to, like, not trust Karumi, but it is a little weird that she's, like, the only, like, important character that's not, like, Amaterasu or, like, a world detective organization. Does anybody else find it, like, a little suspicious? Like, why is she so important? Like, why would Makoto or whoever, like, bring her here to? It just, I don't know, it makes me a little sus. I feel like I wouldn't be shocked if there was a twist involving her being, like, evil or something. <laughs> 
Okay, man. Oh, are we in that area that Halara was talking about? What was it? Like the um, abandoned, like, outskirts place? What is this place? I've never seen anywhere so... I think they Could said it, it like, had radiation or something, maybe? You don't was know that where the we issue? Are it's raining, so it's probably somewhere in Kanai Ward. But I don't recognize anything here. Who knew there was a place like this in Kanai Ward? There are some rundown shacks over there. Okay. It looks like a rural village. Hey, Yuma. Do you remember how you were brought here? Um, let me think. Smoke suddenly came out of my pocket. Oh, yeah. And I fell unconscious. <laughs> yeah, fucking Makoto, dude. It must have been a powerful uh. sedative. You were instantly KO'd. I got knocked out, too. And I remember seeing on the news before I passed out. Yeah, damn, the yeah. The WDO building was bombed by a terrorist. Yeah, <laughs> everything's really starting to go down now. That's how you know it's chapter five. Huh? It was? Could this be related to the explosion? Who could have done this? The criminal being pursued by the World Detective Organization? What's going on? This is totally bizarre. Hmm. And where is everyone else from the detective agency? If they were taken away like we were, then they should be nearby. We should search around here for now. Hmm. Why would he bring us just to like one of these random houses though? I guess he just wants to toy with us. Makoto, that's my thought process at least, but I guess we'll see. Master, be careful. I'm worried about that weird shadow from earlier. Right. What <laughs> was that thing? It's just Yako's ghost. He just, you know, supporting you from afar. <laughs> Is that too soon? Is that too soon to say? Oh, man. Okay, let me um, read some of these donos. Well, got the intro first. And then I was gone. Oh, God, does that mean... <laughs> And then I was gone. Does that mean Yuma's about to die? And that's what happened. <laughs> then I was gone, and that's what happened. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Scared. Wait, Yuma. It's so creepy here. It's like the afterlife. You can't leave the house. We still gotta grab the freaking gumshoe gab thing. And let me go ahead and read some donos too before I get too distracted. Thank you, Cherry Cupcake Creations, for the uh, donation. We'll all chip in for your therapy sessions as your birthday gift. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you, Wolf Allen, for being a member for seven months. I knew we shouldn't have trusted fake Mikado. <laughs> no, right, for real. <laughs> Nobody who ever gets the Mikado voice is to be trusted. And thank you. This is original. 2022. Been watching your content since around the start of SDRA2. Glad to finally catch a stream live. Hope you enjoyed the trauma. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Oh man, I miss SDRA2. That was such a fun series. But uh, thanks. <laughs> I'm sure I'll enjoy it and I'll have a lot to go over in therapy. Thank you, NR China 20 Rose. You're lucky I wasn't here last stream. I would have simped so hard for Yomi. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was roasting him so bad. The whole stream. I hate that guy, but I can't say why but I have reason to believe Yomi is alive and will stay alive I have hope. I think he just went to prison, right? Because I wanted him to get cubed and killed But I think they were just like send him to jail. It's like can we do more? We could do more <laughs> He needs to suffer clap if you think he should suffer Nagito enters. Hope. Oh man, let me uh, thank you someone unknown. So sad Yako died of hunger before fake <laughs> It was the meat buttons. That was what happened. The cause of death the whole time. Oh, I'm dead. That's so funny. And thank you, Ither. Remember for one month. Appreciate you. Hey, Weeby, I posted that bunny Vivia art my friend did in the Discord. It's in the hashtag art channel. Go look there when you want to see when you can. I want to see a reaction. Oh, thank you so much. I'll be sure to check it out after the stream. Um, yeah. Thanks, guys, for all the donations. Just kind of wanted to go through all of these. <laughs> all the clapping. <laughs> I love you guys. I love you get me. The is like, kiddo. <laughs> Want me to show you the real thing? Come on, let's go. Oh man, freaking Yomi, dude! I hate that guy so much, so much with all of my hate. <laughs> Could you imagine if we got like Yomi gumshoe gaps? <laughs> Recall memories with Dezuhiko from the notebook menu. We were roasting Dezuhiko and we should have just spending, been spending more time roasting Yomi. Oh my god, like, him kicking 
Yako after he's like dying already. Like that is just so burned Monsters into my like memory. Oh. My bad, I didn't mean to cut you off. Kurumi, someone's there. Oh, what the hell? You guys what are they doing? Uh, what was wrong with this area again? I remember Lara told us. I think it was something about like not radioactive. Were there like dumb bodies here <laughs> or something like that too? But I think there was another reason why like people couldn't live here. If they live around here, they might know something. Wait, you're going to talk to them? I think that's a bad idea. But we have to find out where we are. It'll be fine. <laughs> I think. I think. Don't sound so confident there. Are you sure about that? Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of scared, honestly. Actually, I changed my mind. Uh, um, do we really have to talk to him? I got a bad feeling about this. Sure. It's all right. It's it's just a little a little chat, just a little bit. He's totally not going to turn me into a zombie. Bite my neck. Thank you, Crocomancer. So we be given Martina survival and an old guy blowing up. Are you the mastermind? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I collab with Kadaka for this. I was like, how dare you? You cannot kill Martina. She's way too hot. Kill the old man instead. <laughs> Is Yuma about to meet you? Oh my god, can you imagine? Like, Makoto takes off his mask and it's just me. Like, weeby news. It was you the whole time. <laughs> like, yes, and Yomi got cubed. <laughs> that's the only thing this game is missing now. Oh, man. We're just gonna talk, so it should be okay. Right? Oh, I'm dead. Um, excuse me. Hey, man. <laughs> Hello? Oh, shit. We're about to get attacked, aren't we? <laughs> oh my god, he really is a zombie! What the hell? <laughs> That's kind of joking! What the? <laughs> oh god. He kills you with the power of bad breath. <laughs> I was joking about the zombie thing. Thought he was just strung out on like a drug or something. Did that person try to bite you? Is that zombie? Is that a zombie? <laughs> a zombie? No Jesus way. Christ! It attacked us on sight. <laughs> it didn't even try to talk. Master, we gotta get out of here. Oh my God! I know. <laughs> what did this become? A zombie game? Run. Oh God! Is there more of them? Oh no! No! <laughs> <laughs> More zombies up ahead. We have to change routes. Oh my god. So many of them. Where are we? Okay, 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 okay. Oh god. This is where that guy was before. Maybe. Why? Why are they attacking? Anyway. Stop complaining and run. Go, go, go. I'm trying. I'm trying. Where do I go? Do I just. I can't. I tried going down here and I couldn't. Maybe. Oh, right here. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Go to the fields. Where should I run to? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Kabuki, anybody here? Anybody here? Oh, shit. Wait, how do I get to wherever this... What does it want me to click on? I don't know. Maybe this? Oh, wait. Oh, is there somebody behind here? Why does it want me to click on? <laughs> Was I born stupid? We yeah. get in that building. Let's hide there for now. Yeah. Okay. I guess sometimes the little markers are just off. Oh my God, another one, another shard. Nice. <sighs> there was definitely something wrong with those people, and it wasn't just one or two, but a whole mob. If they all attack at once, you'll be torn to shreds, Master. We need something to defend ourselves. Let's look for something we can use as weapons. I see something! Yay, memory shard! Recall memories with Halara from the notebook menu. We gotta play those. Maybe we can do those today at some point. Okay, let me um read the dono. 
Thank you, big chunk of Yomi slander. Oh my god, what a beautiful profile picture. Something I noticed when Martina arrested Yomi, she brought unique looking peacekeepers. They look to be peacekeepers who are a part of the teams we met in each chapter. Oh, Seth Hall and Martina teams. I wonder what happened to like Seth and the other ones too. I kind of just assumed they got cubed, to be honest. But we haven't really seen too much about them. I guess, yeah, maybe their groups could have rebelled against Yomi too. Everybody hates Yomi. All my homies hate Yomi. Envelope. Hmm? An envelope? There's a letter inside. Evacuation order. Okay. Yesterday, toxic gas was discovered to be leaking from the nearby mines. Okay, that's what it, that was what it was. I was like, I remember there was something like radiation or toxic gas or something. This area has been purchased by Amaterasu Corporation and has been designated as off limits. Okay. All residents are hereby requested to evacuate the area immediately. An evacuation order from Amaterasu Corp. <laughs> the gas turns you into zombies? <laughs> it's so strange. I see. I think I know where we are. Yuma, this is the restricted area. Supposedly, it was a tiny village that was abandoned due to a toxic gas leak from a nearby mine. Ever since then, the whole area has been restricted. I had been really interested in going to this area ever since it was brought up. So this is where you were talking about. Isn't this where the corpse processing facility is supposed to be? Yep. This is becoming more of a horror story by the minute. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Oh my god, the corpse factory. We can meet all our old besties from that game. Oh, yeah, that rumor. I need to confirm it with Kurumi. Okay. Kurumi, there's something I need to ask you. Huh? What is it? Halara was investigating the restricted area and mentioned something. In Kanai Ward, corpses rot easily due to the humidity from the rain, so they are quick to retrieve bodies. The corpses are then loaded onto trucks and transported to the restricted area for disposal. Yeah. Does the... <laughs> is the gas... <laughs> Turn the corpses into zombies? That'd be pretty crazy though, right? <laughs> that would be pretty wild. And uh, thank you, Lily May. Hi, Weeby. This is my first super chat. Oh, thank you so much. And that's because I really enjoy your videos and the games you play, especially watching them live. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you. And thanks for the super chat. And thank you, Bless Bane. They put chemicals in the air to turn people gay. <laughs> gay zombies? Oh my god. <laughs> they're not just zombies, they're gay zombies. But that process <laughs> is managed by a department with a handful of people working directly for Amaterasu's CEO. On top of that, they are only involved in transportation. They aren't aware of what happens afterwards. How the bodies are buried and who buries them is a mystery. The zombies? Really? So the rumors about it being a corpse processing facility were true? I thought you'd know. No, I don't. But why a corpse processing facility? Maybe Amaterasu is secretly disposing bodies used for human experimentation. I guess that makes sense. Was the guy, was the first one we saw? I guess that might have been actually a zombie too, because I think the eyes looked kind of similar. If that's the case, what if bodies coming back to life was an unexpected side effect of the experiment? Would that mean they really are zombies? <laughs> But that can't be. <laughs> a corpse can't come back to life. It's like, this game can't change genres that quickly. Aren't zombies supposed to be dead? They sure didn't smell like corpses to me. Huh? But they didn't really seem alive either. <laughs> what are they? <laughs> Yeah, wouldn't you know, Shinigami? Aren't you supposed to be a god of death? If the story of the toxic gas from the mines is true, these could be the residents suffering from it. Anyway, we'll make some of that info a solution key, just in case. Does that mean we're gonna become zombies if we spend too much time here, too? Because I assume... Is the toxic gas still, like, leaking in this area? Or still kind of, like, prevalent in this area? Might be something kind of... <laughs> Important to keep in mind. Maybe we should get like a gas mask or something. Restricted area of Kanai Ward where zombie-like creatures wander. Man, we're already getting investigation stuff? Sheesh. Uh-oh. Fabuki? Oh no, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> That's not good. 
Oh! Okay, Yuma! Okay! Look at him slaying. Girl, come on, get up! <gasps> what the? What? What? How? I thought they all died. What? Are you really zombies? What? We're so, all three of you turned into zombies? Is this just like anybody who dies? They dump their corpse here, uh, and then they become zombies? Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> These really are some gay zombies. Let's run. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh man, does that mean we're gonna see Yako zombie corpse here too? Uh, I don't want to. Oh shit. Now they're firing arrows at us. What? Zombies can't use weapons. <laughs> some well, smart ass zombies, can. man. Hey, there's a letter on the arrow. Oh. <sighs> Maybe one of them. One of our crew. Kurumi, let's hide. This way. God, I feel like we are gonna see Yako zombie. It's gonna be Yak over all over again. A ladder on an arrow. Talk about old fashioned. What does it say? Lara, maybe? Warning. Homunculi are predisposed to eating human oh, what flesh the? in order to maintain the artificial organic synthesis in their cells. Honestly, I kind of thought the homunculi was just the thing that Makoto made up after a while. <laughs> Interesting. So wait, are they? Okay, 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 okay. So I guess Amaterasu is taking the dead bodies and trying to turn those into homunculi? Maybe? I'm like, we definitely killed them. So I'm like, they were definitely dead. But now I'm not totally sure why they're coming back to life. Thank you, Cereza DL. So we got detectives who have supernatural powers like time manipulation, a death god, homunculi, and now zombies. What else is there, vampires? I know, right? <laughs> For real. Currently, there are no alternate sources of nutrition, and they grow sick if they do not consume human flesh. What the what? You're just describing a zombie. Just say it. Particularly malnourished specimens will attack any human on sight. <laughs> So please do your best to be careful. <laughs> so please try not to get eaten. From the Amaterasu Homunculus Research Department. Mm. Homunculus? Oh wow. They literally have a research department. Attack here. Yikes. I wonder if they have like a facility here actually. Eat human flesh. Wait. So those zombies roaming around here. Those were homunculi? The immortal monsters grandpa talked about? Then <laughs> Yoshiko and the others back there were just homunculi too? I feel like you got the names confused. It's like, girly, those are zombies, not homunculi. Thank you, Smire. Please watch Danganronpa Rejected Zero. Oh yeah, I've heard of that one. I think I have it on my list of ones I've been like meaning to watch. I was thinking about maybe doing another fan gan kind of soon, just because I do, I do kind of miss them after going like a little while without playing them. But that is definitely one I've kept my eye on, so I'll uh, keep it in mind. Thank you, big chunk of Yomi slander. Zombies, brains, brains, brains. Zombie Yako, meat buns, meat buns. Yuma, give me my freaking meat buns already. I'm literally a zombie at this point. And thank you, Locutus58. I'm not spoiling, but this chapter gets darker later. Oh, yikes. <laughs> oh, yikes. Darker than the last chapter? Jesus. so real. What exactly are they? The homunculi who wander around the restricted area seem to subsist on human flesh. <sighs> Interesting. Wait, they're dangerous. We should get out of here, Master. Let's go, Kurumi. We need to leave this village right now. I don't even want to imagine what'll happen if they catch us. We gotta get out of here. Okay. Forensic Forte. Been in village, quarantine located in the outskirts of Kano world. Toxic gases leach from a nearby mine. Yeah, that's basically what they just already described. I do like the little uh, trivia that they uh, give in the uh, loading screens. It's kind of nice. 
Okay. <laughs> I feel like we should be looking for Halara and Fibuki in them, too. Oh! Oh my god! It's Kinji's dad! The one sitting over there... Is that the priest from the Oh my god, case? I missed you, homie! That one... Seems a hmm. bit calmer than the rest. It's kinda weird. Maybe we can talk to him. <laughs> I don't know if we should be trying all that. What? This is a bad idea! <laughs> he's just living for his son, Kenji. That's, that's why he's sticking around. <laughs> like how he doesn't even have a freaking name. <laughs> I just call him Kenji's dad. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Stop already! You'll just get attacked again if you try to talk. You remember Slay? You remember that? We had some good times, I man. Learn something new. Or figure a way out of here. We had some good times, man. Just, uh, you know. Come on. Come on. Remember those times and don't kill me. But maybe forget about the bad times. You know, when I slayed you. Those were some no. bad times. <laughs> those were some bad times. So maybe we we just don't remember those. We just remember the memes. Just remember the memes, man. Um, father? Do you remember me? <laughs> oh, hell yeah, I remember you, dick. Oh, wait. Oh, what? what? <laughs> oh, no, this is not gonna work out. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Okay. <sighs> what did I tell you? Oh, my God. I got scared for a second. I forgot where the button was. Come back here. It's time to slay. Oh, hey. It's you, too, bro. Oh, man. I liked you. Oh, what the? Oh, oh, no. Fuck you. <laughs> Oh my god, they really are all here! Dude! <laughs> These people are supposed to be dead! What is a homunculus anyway? Revenge. God, not iCarly. Oh god, oh no! <laughs> I've been bitten! The bakery? No! <laughs> now y'all still calling him the bakery? I'm dead! Oh no! Oh god, I feel like we're about to run into Yako at any moment now. Oh wait, who's this guy? Okay, no, 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 shit! Oh no! <laughs> I think I pressed Y on accident. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Okay, X, A, okay, okay, X. X, okay! Come on, Yuma! Whew! Whew! Oh yeah, will we actually see the people from the train? I don't know, they were pretty burnt, though. I don't even think they'd be recognizable if we did see them. Ooh, man. Scary. A fence? Does it surround the whole village? That's right. This is the restricted area. But I think we can climb over it. I'll go first, Karumi. You follow after. Wait! The fence might be... Uh. Ooh! <laughs> Dumbass zombies. An electric fence? <laughs> that makes sense. I was gonna say it was like, is is a fence really enough to keep zombies out? I knew something. It's like a regular odd. fence. You would have been roasted if you touched it. <sighs> You'd have been a zombie too, buddy. How are we going to get out of here now? Let's search for an opening in the fence. Oh, Yuma, look! I feel like if we climb a tree, we could jump over it or something. Oh. The sound must have drawn them here. Look how I react to and are drawn towards sound. <laughs> like horse to call them homunculi. Oh no, they noticed us! We have to run! There was like another zombie thing that I was watching where. Oh yeah, I think it was the. Crap, what was it called? <laughs> Zom 100, I think. Over here too. Oh hey, it's you girlies again! Come on, Hilara, it's time to save our ass! <laughs> You always save us at the last I, minute. I don't know. Uh. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Just fell down the cliff. <laughs> that works too. <laughs> Man, I was hoping for a badass Alaris kick scene. They always show up. <gasps> hey, 
Hey, Yuma. What's that? Oh, this might be the research facility, actually. It's like it's gotta Such be nearby. An building. I can hear something inside. Hmm. Oh man. Are we gonna meet up with the other detectives soon? It's so massive. I guess. Just what is going on in there? <laughs> it's so sad. I well, thought this would be the chapter we hang out with Yako. Let's go in. But it might be the chapter we hang out with Karumi instead. Oh man, that kind of does make sense. Okay, let me go get the bathroom really quickly. It's one of those temporary toilets. They always have a construction site. Mm -hmm. So does that mean some construction work has been carried out? It looks like a permanent fixture though. It must belong to a toilet collector living nearby. I don't think so. <laughs> but thank you for that wonder, wonderful What's observation. Like These lights are incredibly bright. I guess this place would be pitch black without them. No. But Yuma, if they're switched on right now. Yeah, someone is watching over this area. We better tread carefully. My detective points. Almost forgot about those for a little bit. Should've been clicking on more stuff. Okay, we enter through here. Nice. Yeah, she always, always has like the most random, uh, <laughs> most random explanations for things. It's gotta be a toilet collector. Of course, of course, queen. It's the corpse factory. <laughs> we got Noriko's inside here. Wait, there was a shard? Can I go back for it? Looks like some kind of factory. It's dark and creepy, but it still seems to be functioning. But no one's supposed to be in the restricted area. What kind of factory is this anyway? The factory operating in the restricted area of Kanai Ward, where no one should be. <laughs> I sniff blood. Huh? Blood? Oh, you can't go back? Really? Uh, I don't even know if I, like, really uh, saved recently. Is there a way to... God dang it. Uh, I think I would have to, like, honestly, like, reload, like, that entire sec... Oh, wait, there's autosave. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me... Oh. <laughs> Okay, whatever. Load. Which one should I abandon? Oh, deserted factory. Okay, wait. I think this is okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Big Chuck Yomi Slander. It's fun watching Nico play Rain Code because during the Nail Man case, he was making logical deductions, and I remember Weeby going, Mmm, drone brella. <laughs> that was a good theory. <laughs> Excuse you! Thank you, Caitlin. Hey, Weeby, love your stream. Fun fact, the generic zombies in restricted area can be seen at the end of the prologue prior to the opening video. Oh, really? Wow. Huh. That's crazy. I'll have to go back and look at that. <laughs> Somebody said the shart? <laughs> when they said they were trying to say shard? No, Weeby, the shart! <laughs> oh, god damn it. <laughs> okay, never mind. Okay, that was not what I wanted to load. Cool, 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 cool. I guess we'll do Abandoned Village, 47. Uh, I'll just go through. I'll just click through really fast. I think it's worth it to go back. I don't want to miss a whole, a whole freaking uh, shard or shart, <laughs> as one of y'all so, uh, so delicately put it. Oh my god. Forensic Forte. And thank you, Inya. Kojiro says sauce. <laughs> oh my god, can we find Kojiro again? <laughs> King. Oh, I miss Kojiro. I kind of like Kojiro and Yako's designs. Kind of remind me of each other a little bit. <sighs> Yako. <laughs> Yako. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Where is this at? We can get out this way. Oh god dang it. I gotta do all of this again? Wait, oh no. How far is this? Okay, okay, it's just this. Okay, that's not too bad then. I thought it was the beginning when we like first were running away. The one sitting over there. Okay. Would... Maybe. What? <laughs> Anyways, how are you guys doing? <laughs> All because I missed a shark. 
Um, father? Is there a way to skip these, or... Do you know. remember me? Mm. I guess this does have gameplay in it. That's probably why. Okay, B! You guys just gotta tell Nico about the drone umbrella theory. Then he'll be all about it. <laughs> then he'll be like, "Why would I think of anything else when I know it's just drone umbrella?" You can't skip them because they have quick time events. That makes sense. Maybe X Y. These people are supposed to be dead. What is a homunculus anyway? At least it's not too long. Yep. Guys, it's worth it. Think about the Vibuki shard that I almost missed. That would have been a close one. You know, Icardi too. He almost has like his nails are really long, aren't they? Like claws, kind of. Okay, I think this was X. Oh god, damn it! <laughs> Why do I always die? Not again! Are you serious, girl? To myself. Are you serious? God dang it! Why do I always get the X and Y mixed up? Fuck you, zombie! I hate you. Get out of the way! <laughs> okay. You can skip cutscenes. Well, there's at least that. Thank you, uh, Jean-Philippe Ponsons. Well, we can finally put the importance for the umbrellas if we assume they were just foreshadowing that Amaterasu is a branch of Umbrella Corp. That's right. oh. It finally comes into play! There's no way to skip these, I guess, either. It's gotta keep pressing X. Or maybe... Okay, there we go. That's what I want. Homocula I react to and are drawn towards sound. Okay, nice. Easy. What you gonna okay, do let's get this too. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Almost time. <laughs> Almost back, guys. Thanks for being... <laughs> thanks for being patient. Master! Yeah, uh, thank you, uh, Mega Shark ZDA, for the donation. Wrecked, basically. <laughs> All because I missed a stupid shard. Thank you, David D. In the newest Pixar film, Elemental, why is that one water character considered non-binary when it makes more sense to call them <laughs> gender fluid? <laughs> Good one, David. Just what is going on in there? Okay, where's the stupid shard? Well, oh, we're not it was there the whole. Oh my god! Here. It oh, was there god. the whole time. <laughs> it's fine. Like we can get it here. Uh, I don't know how I missed that. I do feel like there is a lot of like, I don't know, kind of shards, or just stuff that looks like shards, kind of like scattered throughout. You know, like little blue lights or whatever. Okay, we're back. Press R to pay respects. Two times speed's a lot less spooky. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Hello? Looks like some kind of factory. It's dark and creepy, but it still seems to be functioning. But no one's supposed to be in the restricted area. What kind of factory is this anyway? A factory operating in the restricted area of Khan, I ward, where no one should be. It's gotta be the employees here, right? I smell blood. Ugh. Huh? Blood? That's not good. Maybe there's we... something here that's related to the restricted area. Oh man, I guess we might see them like experimenting on the human slash zombies in here. This could be dangerous, but we should look inside. Right. We won't be safe no matter where we go anyway. Mm, this factory feels so creepy. Can I examine this? If you spot any nope. red or green herbs, be sure to pick it up. Red or green herbs? What is that a reference to? Interesting. Oh wait, is there somebody in there? Oh, maybe some of the scientists or something? Hmm? And why is this machine operating? There's nobody here to run it. Say. I see some shadows over there. Unless they're zombies too. I'm getting I'm getting nothing but bad vibes here. Be careful, master. What are they building in this factory? 
A <laughs> corpse factory, it's one might say? Oh, it is zombies. I mean, homunculi. They're over here, too. I think it's Resident Evil. The smell I need of to play Resident Evil. Coming from them. Maybe they ate someone. I've only played like a little bit of one of the games. Maybe, but who? A conveyor belt. It looks like they're making something. What's on top of it? Let's go in a bit further and find out. Okay. What is, is that? Eggs? <laughs> what is that? Master. <laughs> Nothing. It's just. Wait, you getting some kind of kind of remembering something? Maybe over there too. What the hell is that on there? You know, it kind of reminds me of like the Krispy Kreme. Would you like go there and he's like the donuts on there? <laughs> Or wait, is it meat buns? Oh, it does kind of look like meat buns. I got a feeling we shouldn't go any further. Mm. Huh? Ominous. Why? We might find out the secret of the restricted area. I know, but... Well, how about you wait right here? I'll go and look. Hey, Kurumi! Are they really meat buns? <laughs> they do kind of look like it. They were trying to control us the whole time. Master, don't tell me you're scared after coming this far. Scared? <laughs> of course I am. I just know. Oh god, what if the meat buns are zombie meat? Oh god, it'd be a really good thing we didn't get Yako those. The truth awaits us up ahead <laughs> in the guise of a monster. <laughs> didn't tell us what kind of meat was in there. Will I really be able to face it? Oh shit. If you don't like it, you can always run away. No. I'll go. Shinigami, are you prepared to go with me? Damn, you don't must. Need to ask twice. I'm always with you, Master. He's getting super serious. <laughs> this is the big secret of Big Meat Bun. Doesn't want you to know about. <laughs> I was thinking that too. It's Big Meat Bun. Thank you, Mega Shark ZDA. Hi, Weeby. What do you think of the zombies? Very interesting so far. I guess we'll kind of see how it um how it goes, but um definitely not what I expected when they were talking about homunculi, that's for sure. Thank you, big chunk of Yomi Slander. Also, speaking of Nico, he was he's playing a game that might interest you called Deathmark. Oh, I noticed that. It's a horror and mystery visual novel. Pretty scary. I think Nico is getting like age restricted on that a lot, so I don't know if I could really stream it. I might have to do like a let's play or something where I can edit out, you know, I guess the parts that need to be edited out, but I did hear about that. Um, it does look interesting, but uh, yeah, I think that'd be the main concern is just having to uh, edit out the parts that are going to get it age restricted. Kurumi. Yuma, look! I thought they'd be making something horrible. <laughs> Those are really meat buns. But it's just meat buns. Yeah! They look nice and fresh. Are they controlling us by putting fucking zombie meat in the meat buns? What is going on? Huh? <laughs> meat buns? Oh, Jesus Christ. But why here in the restricted area? I'm so scared. Welcome to the Kanai Ward Special Food Facility Tour. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wait, they have tours here? Isn't this, restric isn't this a restricted area? What the? Is this some sort of tour guide? <laughs> what? This factory operates 24 hours a day to provide safe and secure food to the people of Kanai Ward. <laughs> These are made with 100% grass-fed zombie meat. <laughs> so you can you can rest assured that it is delicious <laughs> and healthy. <laughs> this is where they make the meat buns we always eat? All factory manufacturing is fully automatic, so there's no staff on hand. So there aren't any workers Okay, around? interesting. Up ahead, we shall demonstrate how the specialty food is produced. <laughs> Does that mean Yako's gonna become a meat bun? At least he'll become what he always loved? <laughs> I wonder if our presence here automatically triggered it to go off. Interesting. I'm not sure. It feels like it was talking to us. That announcement sounds like a trap to me. But we can't turn back now. I've made up my mind. Oh? You're acting more like a detective now. You must have one hell of a mentor. Kurumi, let's keep moving. Yeah. I'm not so scared as long as I'm with you. Yeah, thanks, Kurumi. I don't know. That's, that's like such a... 
I don't want to suspect her, but there's this, I don't know. Just like the, like, I feel safe as long as I'm with you. It's like, I don't know, that seems like something somebody evil would say. <laughs> Who's trying to convince me that they're not evil, you know? It's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna rely on you. I'm just, I'm just paranoid, okay? I have really bad sense of trust. But, um, in the fair, in all fairness of Karumi not being evil, I did kind of feel like she was weirdly, like, I don't know. Yeah, like, hypnotized by the meat buns? Am I, like... <laughs> Am I just being Delulu though? Like, I don't know, just the fact that she was like, I thought they were making something horrible, but whoa, it's the meat buns. God, they look so delicious. <laughs> I wanna eat one right now. I guess she didn't go that ham on it, but it does seem a little bit like, um, you know, a little, a little like, I don't know. What are they putting these meat buns that makes people so obsessed with oh. them? Meat buns are made and processed really methodically. Right. It's totally normal for a factory, but there's still something creepy about it. There's definitely people in those me buns. Quit messing around. Let's go. Okay. It's kind of wild that yes, some zombies just got like locked in here too. Okay. Oh yeah, click on this. This is. Looks like this machine monitors something in the factory. I have no idea what it says though. For now. Um, no point in worrying over things you can't figure out. Forget about it and move on. True, right now the most important thing is to keep moving forward. Okay. Oh, God, this is totally made out of fucking human meat, dude. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, let me, um, read some more donations. I think I'm a little, uh, behind on those. Thank you, NR China 20 Rose. No, it's even worse than zombie made meat vine. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean it's even worse? <laughs> Thank you, Adam made my muffin. Weeby, can you make a meat bun cooking tutorial? <laughs> yeah. That would be so meme to do after this though. <laughs> oh god. And now we have the mystery meat. <laughs> We're not gonna specify what's in these. Just don't worry about it. You don't need to know about that part. Thank you, big chunk of Yomi slander. I just thought of something. Did we ever see cows or chickens in Kanai Ward? Or any animals that are usually used in store bought? Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Oh, God. Oh, God. Thank you, Cherry Cupcake Creations. I just want you to consider this. Have you seen any farms around? No, you guys are still pushing that. <laughs> Would they be able to care for animals with weather conditions? Oh, is that why they're making these homunculi? So we can, can't y'all just go vegan? Jesus. I guess plants would have a hard time growing in these weather conditions. Come on, just make like a, what is it? Like those little, like, <gasps> no, they got Amapel working here. No, stop it. Not the little guy. No, he doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know what he's doing. How could they do this to the little guy? To Amapal, no! Oh God, not the little guy, not the little guy, not little Amapal. I can't believe this. This is sick. This is sick. How dare you? I can forgive you it's for eating a people. Food facility, but they're just making meat buns. Special Maybe they're food. Using specially chosen meat, like there's a flavor unique to this factory. Special yeah, mystery meat. Somehow I don't think that's it. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, that was my idea, but I don't think so either. <laughs> the fucking special meat factory. Oh, I didn't even realize that name is so suspicious. Oh my goodness, there he is, the little guy. He's back there. Oh shit. Oh, they're eating oh, the meat buns? There's a lot of them here too. Oh, there's they're blood. What is Oh, it's a skeleton actually. Oh shit. That you one of the scientists? Note that there are no staff in this factory, but there are many hungry <laughs> individuals wandering about. So you better move it. Please be mindful, as they are partial to fresh food. <laughs> and you are smelling really good right now. It kind of reminds me of a, what was like the robot announcer in Sister Location? Fresh food? It's talking about us! Oh my god. See? I told you it was a trap! How are you gonna get out? We can't go to the mystery labyrinth without a case to solve. <laughs> How do we get away from these zombies? Oh my god. Okay, the sound. You sound. Use electricity. Use the pipe. They like sound, right? I know sound. Hey, thirty points. That's good, right? The That's good. The sound from the electric fence drew their attention. 
I don't know if we can really kill them with electricity or anything. Because <laughs> they already walked into the fence when we're fine. So some <laughs> sort of loud sound may distract them. Exotic butters. We just gotta find some exotic butters for them. Alright. It's worth a shot. Hey, Master! Don't you think that armapel over <gasps> there might oh do goodness. the trick? Okay. So wait, try to get sick him on Amapel? Tap the device. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I can make him say his little announcements! What you got the help me button dispenser? <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh god. It's working. The sound is distracting them. If the zombies are eating the meat buttons, you definitely know there's some human meat in there. Yuma, look! That spot where the zombies were gathered. What were they all flocking to? Maybe. Oh shit. <laughs> I wonder what this is! Someone's remains. Ew, there are bones everywhere. Didn't what anyone the... teach them not to leave their scraps behind? What? Wait a second. This is like, is that Desu Eco's outfit? It's like, wait a second. It's like, I feel like I recognize this outfit really quickly. It was. I was like, oh no, a little kid. I was like, wait a second. I know that kid's clothes. Oh shit! He was hitting on the zombies and got eaten. Surely not, though. Surely not. Surely he's not just dead, right? I mean, like, I know we all have opinions on him, but surely they wouldn't kill him just like off screen, right? These clothes <laughs> belong to Tesuhiko. Shit. Huh? Tesuhiko? The shorty detective got eaten? <laughs> oh. Oh hell no. Can't be. Oh hell no, we better not find Alara's remains next. Please be mindful of sudden accidents while on the factory tour. If you are electrocuted, fall from a great height, or are mistaken as food and eaten. We are not uh, reliable for that. You will join your friend in front of you. So please practice caution. What the is it Makoto speaking over this announcement trying to pretend to be like a robot? <laughs> you will also die, just like your perverted simp of a friend, Dezuhiko. Bitch. And? And those bones really are. I don't know, it's like I never want to like believe something if I don't see it happen like right in front of my eyes. Right? Right? <sighs> Don't believe it. Thank you, I Yuma. You and me. Know. You and me and Delulu. Yuma. Kurumi, didn't the announcement also say in front of you? Yeah, it's like it's literally watching us. Oh, that means... We're being watched? Yeah, it's like you can drop the whole robo-act, bro. Who's there? Where are you? What? Getting emotional, are we? <laughs> As a detective, you should know better than that. <laughs> this is totally Makoto trolling us! <laughs> Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. Or is it? Would it be like another detective or something? I, I don't want to hear that from you! Are you <laughs> sure you wish to make so much noise? They'll start coming after you again. Did you read so the sassy. warning I presented to you prior to this? Oh. They only oh. see you as food. If you wish to move on, you should proceed with caution. No, wait, that does kind of sound like uh, Makoto, now that I think about it. I feel like when you, like, pay attention to the voice more, it sounds more like him. Now, please enjoy the remainder of the tour. Did he quote Alara? Did it kind of sound like something a detective would say, though, one line? Oh, yeah, I think that was something that Alara said, wasn't it? Pretty emotional, but I feel like the voice does kind of sound more like Makoto. Warning. The letter on the arrow? The person behind that voice has been watching us the whole time. Oh my god. We didn't come to this building by accident. We were led here. Whoever is talking to us brought us here. But why? <laughs> Somebody in the chat is clearly swank. Gotta forgot about him. Master, look! Huh? Oh wait. This is Desuhiko's handwriting. Really? Are you sure? Oh god. What does yeah. it say? The handwriting matches the note he wrote me when I did some shopping. Oh shit. 
I'm sure he wrote it. And this corpse really is. I don't know, man. I was so upset about Martina dying, but it also happened off screen. So that's why I'm like, still having, I'm still holding on to hope that it's somebody else died and they were just wearing Desuhiko's clothes or something along those lines. Cause it's just totally unrecognizable. I guess granted the other detectives on the train did die completely unrecognizable and off screen, but they were just, they were just trolls by Kadaka. They weren't real character or, you know, like real important characters. Kanai Ward's history. Oh. Kanai Ward was just another remote city in the country. Its development began once Amaterasu headquartered there. Why is he writing this? 10 years ago. Amaterasu Corporation started their research on homunculi. Top secret research kept from society, which Amaterasu loves for sure. Okay, so just as a notes while he was like investigating this area. And their client is Yuji, who spent a ton of money to keep the research secure. Yeah, I don't see his pants either. I noticed that too. I was like, where did his pants go? If he's really dead, then show me his pants. Did he start rhyming? Is this a joke? <laughs> it sounds like something he'd write, but... The content itself is serious. Hey, what does it say? It looks like Amaterasu's homunculus research was funded by the unified government. Huh? But Yuji paid Amaterasu Corp to research homunculi? Okay, interesting. That explains why they haven't interfered with Kanai Ward's isolation. Hmm, okay. I guess, yeah, isolating Kanai War definitely makes it easier to hide something like this. That makes sense. I wonder if, like, the the raining conditions, that's got to be important to this whole thing, too, right? I'm sure they wouldn't want anyone to know they requested such shady research. So Amaterasu <laughs> had dirt on the UG, which is why they can't say anything. <laughs> Y'all in the chat, <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> what is that even? He died doing what he loved, not wearing pants. <laughs> You are all dead to me. <laughs> I, I believe he's alive, though. I believe in him. This is somebody else. They were like, oh, they just decided to eat his pants. Why didn't they eat his jacket then? Why didn't they eat his sleeves, his shoes? Doesn't make sense. He's running around shirtless somewhere, I believe. I believe in you, Dezu. Well, if the unified government is involved, this is becoming a conspiracy on a global scale. When did Desuhiko find out about this? Seems like there's more to it. Why don't you read the rest? Okay. The only thing known about homunculus research is that human beings are created from human cells. Okay. DNA is extracted from a human that will serve as a base, which is then used to cultivate human cells. Unlike clones, they don't need to be grown from fetuses, and genetic data from the time of collection is replicated. Okay, wait, what? The only thing about homunculus research is human beings are created from themselves, extracted from a human that will serve as a base. Okay, so wait, are these not even the original bodies? Like these homunculi? Because I mean, I just kind of assumed they were like the original dead bodies, but like, you know, they just were alive for some reason. But this kind of seems like they were created in like a lab or something. It's an artificial <clears throat> human whose age, sex, and appearance have been perfectly copied. Human cells from DNA copied artificial humans? Master, did your brain melt from how complicated this is? Don't worry, I'll make it all a solution key. <laughs> Thank you. Desuiko's investigation yielded his report about the Moculus research. Yeah, he doesn't have pants. And then uh, he usually had his backpack with him. I guess he didn't have it in the last chapter, but still. That could mean he's wearing something from his backpack. I believe in you, Desu. I think you're alive. Desuiko must have left this report behind. But I don't believe he's dead. I'm sure he's with everyone else somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. You're with you're right there with me, Yuma, being Delulu. Yeah, I agree. I'd rather trust in everyone than believe what that voice says. So let's go find them. Okay. Interesting. Oh yeah, let me read alive. some of these. We have to go find everyone right away. I feel like I'm pretty behind. To do. Sorry guys, I got kinda into it's just so much going on story-wise, it's hard to focus on. <laughs> It's hard to kind of like take a break from it. You know what I mean? Um, let me see to do uh, Thank you mega sharks EDA She not evil. I mean she hasn't been evil so far Karumi, but I'm not putting it past 
I just, I like to think of Twist and like what happens. And I'm, you know, I'll, honestly, if she's not evil, I would rather not know. <laughs> Cause I, you know, I wanna find out on my own if she's evil or not evil. And thank you, Dabbler Dragon. Cooking companions, no! <laughs> Homunculus edition, no! <laughs> We're gonna find Karen in here too. <laughs> well, hello there, Yuma. <laughs> she's gonna be the true, the true ending enemy of this. And thank you, EDMG. Meat buns are made of armor um, pals. Oh, no, not the little guys. I love him so much. Look at him over there staring at me. He's so cute. Thank you, uh, Fo, or Fo220, or PH0220. Kadaka wouldn't kill the cast a second time. <laughs> right? Uh, it's just because it's off screen. There's no pants. There's no backpack. I don't trust it. Thank you, Dabbler Dragon. It's surprise! I, th I think he's gonna come back. I think he's gonna come back. And thank you, Mannequin. Desuigo's disguise. 10 out of 10. His best disguise yet. And thank you, Cartman94. Oh no, Albedo's dead. Um, anyways. Oh, I love Albedo. A lot more than I love Desuigo. <laughs> but I still, I still, I I tolerate Desuhiko. <laughs> I see. It looks like this machine's blowing air into the conveyor section. Well, wow, this is a food factory, so maybe it's to keep the place sanitary. Yeah, we gotta keep that uh, zombie meat sanitary. It's very important. Tom Tarasu. <laughs> very important. Oh my goodness. Hey, buddy. Your little meat bun hat. Look at you. Aw, oh, look at that little guy with his meat bun hat. Oh my goodness. I don't care if there is human meat flesh in there. Oh god. Oh, come on. Is this gonna be like Hilara's jacket or some shit? Don't even. Don't do this to me, game. Don't do this to me. No! God damn I see it already! Oh my god. No, this is all a trap by Makoto. If I don't believe they're dead, they're not dead. Don't you guys get it? Oh, uh, they're not gonna kill Hilara off screen. You got. Come on. Come on now. Shh. I'll notice if you get too loud. Let's stay quiet. Come on. I believe. <laughs> Halara over? No, it's not Halara over. It's not. It's quiet. Quiet down in the chat. Stop that. Oh, shit. <laughs> I just want to get a closer look. <laughs> That's kind of hilarious, actually, can do that. Should probably just do the Amapal thing again, right? I'm gonna find the, uh... How do I do this? Look at the chat. Get too loud, stay quiet. Uh -huh. Where is, a? Uh... Oh, there it is! That was a pretty hilarious scene, though, honestly! <laughs> it's Yuma over! Why do all their names work so well with that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Drawn to the sound. Now that I got a look at them, they're kind of cute. <laughs> How? <laughs> How can you say they're cute when Amapel's right there? Same as before, there's something <sighs> on the floor where that crowd was. Let's check it out before we move on. I don't want to see this. The, it's not Halar over. I don't believe it. This is lies and sleek. Like, Lara is gonna get eaten by zombies. This is Makoto playing some stupid little prank on us. I bet he's got all of them like locked up in like a prison cell or something. That's what I'm choosing to believe. Those clothes. No, Hello? no. I could maybe buy Dezuhiko dying off screen, but not Halar. Have you seen how badass Halar is? Oh, no. How tragic. <laughs> Shut up, Makoto. Despite all my warnings, it seems another one of your friends was devoured. This is so sad. No matter how strong they think they are, they're powerless against overwhelming numbers. It's like to put Yuma in despair or some shit. No, that can't be. I guess Halar's pants here? I don't think so. It's just Solara's jacket, I think. Please continue enjoying the rest <laughs> of the tour. <laughs> please keep, please enjoy the rest of the tour. Oh my God, I wonder who you'll find next. Oh hell no. Oh hell no, we're gonna find Vivian next. Oh shit, <sighs> probably are. Or maybe Fubuki. <sighs> Master, look at this. Come on, they're not gonna eat Vivia. They probably think Vivia is a zombie. <laughs> or they at least think he's like a vampire. They're like, yeah, kind of same class. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're kind of the same class as us. We can't, we can't eat him. There's no mistake. Uh, this is Holara's handwriting. Regarding the two research facilities, the unified government has heavily invested in Amaterasu Corporation's homunculus research. However, it appears there was another research facility of the same scale, directly controlled by the UG. Okay, directly controlled by the UG. I think that's Amaterasu's. And then there's another utility. U utility. <laughs> Wait. Facility. I don't know why I said utility. So I think we're probably in this one. So there's like the homunculus research and there's the meat bun processing. <laughs> You know, after they go through the research lab, they uh, get turned into meat buns here. Cool. They had two research facilities compete with one another in an attempt to further promote development. Naturally, oh. the two facilities became rivals. Interesting. Competition grew fierce. Soon, they were resorting to any means necessary. Amaterasu Corporation began conducting human experiments, but this did not lead to results. Meanwhile, the Unified Government's research facility gathered DNA through extra-legal methods. Hmm. <laughs> Is that what uh, we called ourselves the WDO? We have like the extra-legal, um, what was it? Like extra-legal detectives who could like do whatever they wanted or something? They extracted DNA from particularly superior specimens mm. and used those samples as the core for cells. Oh, Lara also managed to dig up all this. A rival facility to Amaterasu Corp. Things are getting even more mysterious now. <laughs> Lara's investigation yielded this report about the facility conducting the Moculus research. I d no, I'm not no, I'm not accepting it. No, thing? it's not Hala <laughs> Halar over. Stop saying that. Is there something oh. underneath the clothes? It's a key, a key card. card. Have you grown tired of the tour yet? <laughs> because I sure have. Oh my Regardless, God. you deserve respect. You've lost your home, your friends, and I hear you've even lost your memories. <laughs> wow, that really sucks for you. What drives you to keep going to such lengths? I feel like he is trying to put like, Yuma in despair somehow, for some reason. I'm not sure why. I mean, it definitely does seem like... um. Makoto is probably related to Yuma somehow. I remember I kind of had a theory a while ago that he was like his brother. I can't really remember exactly why. <laughs> but I remember having that theory and feeling very strongly about it. So, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Justice? Friendship? Or do you just go whichever way the wind blows? It definitely makes sense he'd be related to Yuma somehow. And then it's like, why is he, like, kind of, I don't know, like isolating him so much and like kind of I don't know if obsessing is the right word but like focusing on him so much and then I really do think this is like a charade of some sort so I think it would make sense if he's like related to him he wants to put him through this charade to be like brother why can you keep persevering when all your friends die why was it so hard for me or some shit like that you know who I am well duh bro it's <laughs> come on Yuma didn't you recognize the voice what do you want I should be asking you the same. Why do you want to solve mysteries? B because... I've asked myself that many times, but still can't find the answer. I don't know why I continue to solve mysteries. But I was able to save people by revealing the truth! <laughs> you also killed people in the process. Okay, I, I know that part too, okay? Exposing the truth doesn't always lead to salvation. You should know that better than anyone. You've learned it full well. It's true, I know. I suffered each step of the way. How would the voice know about all the suffering you must gone through, though? But then I thought to myself, I don't want to see anyone suffer because the truth wasn't exposed. They just need to suffer because the truth is exposed. Yuma. I guess it's still good to get the truth out there, you know? That's why I decided, no matter what the truth may be, I will expose it. That is my wish for everyone who has fallen victim. What I'm praying for. Prayer is the loneliest activity one can partake in. Hmm. Even if your friends prayed, None of you would reach another. But please, 
Carry on with your solitary struggle. I wonder why prayer was highlighted. Damn. I'm not alone. As long as our thoughts are one, we can fight together. And he's got me too. There goes Flatty taking the spotlight again. He already has me, so he has nothing to worry about. I know I'm not alone. I was able to come this far thanks to everyone else. I'm sure the truth that we seek lies ahead. It may be something terrible, but it's the root of everything in Kanai Ward. We'll bring that truth to light. Okay. Let's keep moving. We'll bring the truth to light ourselves. We can definitely try. <sighs> How could this happen? What? We can't stand around. Let's go, Karumi. Stop staring at Alara's corpse. <laughs> or not Alara's corpse. Ugh, God. Ugh, we're probably gonna find Fubuki's next, aren't we? Actually, uh. there is something that kinda caught my attention. Mm -hmm. Why was that announcement so spiteful toward you, Master? Yeah, for real. I don't know. But I'm not gonna stop. No matter what they say. I kinda thought- OH WHAT oh, THE master, FUCK?! That was I'm gonna haunt you till the very end. Is that Zilch? Oh my god! There's someone in there. <laughs> Are you for real right now? They seem a bit different from the others. <laughs> no, yeah, he's zombified too. Yeah, let's try to go up to him, Yuma. Try to talk to him just like Kenji's dad. We can keep going as long as we remain on scene. Let's leave it alone for now. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, I forgot to mention. But they each have individual differences. Oh. Perhaps there are even some you could speak with. Oh, shut up! Oh, no. Yuma, please do not listen. To, please do not listen to him. Was that supposed to be some sort of hint? Forget it. It's probably just another trick. That's what I'm saying. But what if? Oh God, no, Yuma, stop it! Hey, Bro, how many Yuma. times do we have to do this? Wait right here, Kurumi. It's like out of all of them, Zilch. Like, is he really gonna be the one who's like actually gonna, <laughs> actually gonna confess and talk to us? That looks like. I knew it, Zilch. <laughs> His little ears are still twitching. Who's that? You remember the Amaterasu Express on our way to Kanai Ward? Oh, the first soul I briefed in the mystery labyrinth, Zilch, the master detective. The fake one. It was actually a hitman disguised as Zilch. Though we still don't know his real name, so... so this guy isn't gonna jump ya? Hmm, maybe he's not hungry. I... Oh. ...was hired... ...by... ...director... ...Yomi. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> he speaks! He speaks! Okay, of course this all comes back down to fucking Yomi. He can talk! To... Kill anyone mm. approaching Kanai. Oh, Yomi's Ward. all over this zombie shit, isn't he? He's probably like one of the main people running this. What's he mumbling about? <laughs> I'm kind of shook that he's actually speaking. <laughs> Out of all of them, Zilch. Very interesting. I guess he didn't really get as much screen time as the others. I um, definitely think Yomi knows do about you all this. Remember me? I wonder, could Yomi's use the zombies to like get out of prison or whatever? Oh. Maybe. Director <laughs> Yomi. Yep, it's me, the best boy that everyone loves, Director Yomi. No, I'm Yuma. <laughs> Yuma, no, just go we with met it. on the Amaterasu Express. Hey, remember me, Bestie? I'm the one who murdered your ass. I was looking <laughs> for you, Director Yomi. <laughs> Where were you? <laughs> what do I feel like a bunch of people probably ship Zilch and Yomi from the scene? <laughs> At the lab again. You must love that place. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we can't communicate. He thinks I'm Yomi. Just go with it, bro. Why don't you take advantage of that and get some info out of him? Oh, right. About Yomi, about this place. I want to learn about Yomi first. Um, tell me about Yomi. I mean, tell me everything you know about me. <laughs> tell me how, how much you love me. Director Yomi. You became director of the Peacekeepers. About 
Five years ago, I believe. Things were good back then. Are they working together for a while? That masked freak wasn't in Conheim. Uh, yeah. yet. It was the ideal environment for my work. Okay, so Yomi has been working for five years and then Makoto came later. That was when I worked as one of your closest advisors. It certainly takes me back. Damn, Yomi really does just throw away everybody who he gets close to. Did he even answer anything? He's not making any sense. Let's keep playing along for now. We might get some information. Um, if you don't mind, can you tell me what it was like back then? Uh, back then, you used Dr. Weska uh, to trade no. with outside military organizations. Okay, yeah, we kind of covered this last time. Amaterasu's growing success was all thanks to your endeavors. You were on top of the world. If anyone dared raise accusations about you, they were shot on sight. Lovely. <laughs> Many hypocrites acting as if they were upstanding citizens were shot. I love how Zilch is like, yeah, these were the good times, man. You remember when we just used to shoot people? Yomi, God. And then we'd make out in the back of your truck. Oh, God, great times. Those were the glory days. I'm kind of surprised. Well, I guess Yomi's a piece of shit who sucks and has no loyalty to anybody. Look at what he did to Martina. But yeah, it was like, he said he was like one of his top advisors. And it's like he really sent him on that Kanai train or the Amaterasu Express mission, which was like pretty dangerous. Like, he really just has no loyalty to anybody. In fact, most of them died by my hands. Oh, God. He really is like a Yomi sib. Are y'all already sip shipping them together? <laughs> oh, y'all are so down bad. I it's like Hidaka just like s specifically made this. He was like, hmm, who are the characters will be simped for the most? Zilch and Yomi. <laughs> let's, let's make a gay little backstory with them together. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wait, uh, wrong button. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. Funny, don't you think? Didn't Chief Yaku's so funny. wife get killed for blowing the whistle on the lab's secret dealings? Oh, uh, was that Zilch who might have been, like, the one to do the killing blow then? Interesting. So that's what was going on. I don't want to look at him anymore. I don't care if he's gay. Yomi used Dr. Weska to start trading with outside military organizations. You piece of shit. You piece of shit. Um, do you know anything about this restricted area? Restricted area? Oh. You mean the location of Dr. Oh. Weska's lab? Is this like another separate lab? Or... There's, we already went to his other lab in the other research area. No, Dr. Weska's lab is located underneath Amaterasu Corp. Yes, Dr. Weska's lab. Mm. The new yeah. lab was made within the restricted area. <laughs> Fucking Dr. Weska, dude. He's like so tied into all of this too. Huh? I heard that Dr. Weska tried to rush the homunculus mm. research in order to beat the rival lab. Okay, so that's what led them to do all these extreme measures, I guess? So they built a lab about three years ago and started an experiment. I think it was called Project Homunculus. Was the experiment a success? Or did it fail? I guess it doesn't matter. You hear that? Project Homunculus sounds important! So Dr. Weska's lab was around here somewhere three years ago. Okay, three years ago. Could this be about the secret research? De of course, Dr. Weska. <laughs> of course, Dr. Weska and Yomi are like all over this. I swear, Dr. Weska's probably like Yomi's grandpa at this rate. Well, They're both so evil. If succeeded or failed, then there's not much more we can ask him. Uh, okay. Uh, it's been kind of cool talking to him, though, learning more. Oh, damn. 
Didn't expect him to connect to like the later game stuff. Con I Ward changed. Thanks to that masked freak. Hmm? He started talking again. I don't trust Makoto, but it's still kind of funny that Zilch is just like, God, it was so much better back in the day, Yomi. When we ran shit, we got to kill everybody we wanted to. God, good times. That bastard appeared. Uh, when was it? Oh, we're getting a time frame of that, too. Yeah. Immediately after Project okay. Homunculus, there was that event. Was Project Homunculus like three years ago, too? Called... The Black Week oh, Mystery. I remember them mentioning that last chapter. The Blank Week Mystery? The Blank Week Mystery. Hmm. Unfortunately, all I know is its name, and that it's taboo to mention it in Kanai Ward. You know about that case? What happened? Damn. Kanai Ward <laughs> changed. <laughs> thanks to that masked Freak. It's all his fault. <laughs> oh, Zilch. I feel like he's Delulu too. He's like, I feel like it was more so your boyfriend, Bestie, that, you know, got you killed and turned into a zombie. I mean, I guess Makoto, like, changed Kanai Ward, but I feel like, I feel like your downfall is mostly from Yomi. It's like, no, but Yomi's so cute. He would never. That bastard appeared. Ugh. When was it? He's going in circles! Oh, so irritating! Oh, yeah. Around the time of the Blank Week mystery. Right after that, the masked freak appeared out of nowhere. And he became CEO hmm. of Amaterasu <laughs> in the blink of an eye. It's so irritating. <laughs> right, Director Yomi? Right, Yomi? We used to shit talk him all the time together, right, Yomi? You wanna kiss now? He's like, wait, what? <laughs> we get kind of funny if he just starts hitting on me all of a sudden. It's like, oh yeah, now that we've uh, gotten through all this, Yomi, why don't we make out again in the back of your truck? Like, Old times. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna stop pretending to be Yomi Shinigami. That freak ordered the homunculus research to be shut oh. down. <laughs> Who does he think he is? This is all making Makoto sound good, honestly. What? Makoto shut it down? Tell me more, Zilch. <sighs> <sighs> Director Yomi. <laughs> that one sounds a little more sus. Ah, uh, Director Yomi. Ah, uh, yes, Director. Oh, I love you so much. I was looking for you. <laughs> Director Yomi. Where were you? He does sound so in love. At the lab again. Oh, you okay. must love that place. Uh, he's just kind of going in circles, uh, isn't he? He's stuck on repeat. Yeah. I guess he's glitching out. I guess it makes sense since he's like a zombie and he's just kind of obsessing over the love of his life, Yomi. <laughs> and, you know, getting abandoned by him and stuff. Zilch! Zilch! <laughs> oh, God. Director Yomi, you became director of... The peace keepers. Okay, yeah, he's just going back. About five years ago. I mean, I, I don't know. I feel like Zilch is like pretty evil too, but I do kind of feel bad for him, man. He has such a sense of loyalty. Well, I kind of believe that him and <laughs> Yumi were hooking up <laughs> based off of this conversation. But even even if you do want to not believe that, like uh, just the fact that he's so loyal to him that like uh, in his zombie fight state, he's just going to be having this like conversation with Yomi. Like for eternity, basically, it really shows how like uh, oh my god, Vivia, oh, it really just shows how much he like admired and you know probably loved him. <laughs> okay. Things were good back then. It's no use. 
He's like a broken record. Oh my god. Well, based on what he said, Dr. Weska's lab was apparently somewhere near here three years ago. Yomi is like the worst bisexual representation ever. He killed his boyfriend, he tried to kill his girlfriend. And something called Project Wrong. Homunculus was carried out there. And then after that, the so-called Blank Week mystery occurred. But the real question is what the Blank Week mystery even is. I assume it would be like some kind of murder, and then that Makoto would have done it, but I guess we'll see. I haven't asked Kurumi about it yet. <laughs> it's supposedly taboo in Kana Ward, but <laughs> she may know. Y'all are so bad. So down bad in the chat. <laughs> the flatty, you will probably tell you. I'm Try dead. asking. Okay. Makoto arrived in Kanai War shortly after the Blank Week mystery in order the cancellation of the homunculus research. The mysterious Blank Week mystery is a taboo subject in Kanai Ward. What about the... Come on, Shinigami, what about the truth key about Zilch and Yomi's uh, forbidden secret relationship? <laughs> I, I feel like that's very important to the... Where's the Zomi uh, solution key, Shinigami? Why are you holding out on us? Okay, let me read some of these donations. Um, let's see. Oh man, there's a lot of these. Um. Oh yeah, thank you. Big chunk of Yummy Slander. Yummy Slander of the day. Yummy, the kind of guy who would purposely say the wrong pronouns for Hilari. Yep, that's true. He's such a dick, dude. Kind of surprised. <laughs> kind of surprised there isn't a scene of him doing that. Thank you, uh, Mega Shark ZDA, for the donation. But please remember, no hints or spoilers. And thank you, Carmen94. It's just some um, pepping, pepping of Pepto Bismol. <laughs> just some Pepto Bismol. Yeah, it's just, you know, Desi and Hilara were drinking some Pepto Bismol, spilled it on themselves, left some fake bones there. That's it. Thank you, Mario MP98. Makoto would probably play Despacito. <laughs> I could see that. This is. Oh my god, your friends are dead. This is so sad. Despacito. He would do a karaoke version of it, though. I feel like that would be more of a thing. And thank you, Ither. Why the voice on the speaker kind of... <laughs> Oh my god, chat has been so bad now. You guys, y'all have been so down bad this whole stream. Thank you, Cartman94. When he said, it's Zilchin time and Zilch all over. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you for being a member. Appreciate ya. Thank you, Foe220. You see Shaun of the Dead. I can see you recording the ending with Zilch as your zombie <laughs> slave. I feel like I've heard of that. I don't think I've seen it though. I'll have to check it out. And thank you, Janae Nicole. I missed the last few streams due to work. Excited to see your stream with the last chapter. I hope you're still enjoying the game. Thank you. Yeah, I am very much. The last chapter was really good. And this one's been really interesting so far. Thank you, NR China 20 Rose. See, Yomi did great. Amaterasu gains more power because of him. <laughs> let's stop let's stop let's stop that right now <laughs> yomi is trash i'm sorry china i'm sorry at our china rose but i can't i can't be converted thank you bless bane chat likes pretty people what can we say although i am kind of shipping him with zilch right now and thank you mega shark zda zilch and yomi together forever well not according to yomi <laughs> He trashes everybody. <laughs> Thank you, big chunk of Yomi slander. If Zilch killed Yako's wife, then Yuma avenged dad. Oh, yeah, that's true, actually. That's kind of nice to think about. And thank you, NR China 20 Rose. While I hate the Yomi slander, I can and do support Zomi. <laughs> I gotta say, I kind of ship it too. I was like, you know, I mean, like, look at, look at Zilch. He loves him so much. He's literally having like a forever, like an eternal conversation with him. That's how much like Yomi meant to him. I was like, it's sad. <laughs> Y'all trying to tell me this guy's straight? <laughs> uh, Director Yomi, Director Yomi, Director Yomi, Director Yomi, Yomi, yo, 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 Yomi, ah, la, la, la. Um, he's like a broken record. Doesn't look like he can get any more information out of him. <laughs> this has got to be the most toxic fucking relationship ever. But. <laughs> oh, I don't know, man. I do kind of feel bad for Zilch. Like, Director literally. Literally. <laughs> Director Yomi. Director Yomi. Director Yomi. Director Yomi. 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 Oh, my God. He's such a fucking simp. Huh? Huh? Karumi? Uh oh. Oh god, what is she doing? Karumi's gone? Where'd oh. she go? Where did- Girl, what? Hey, keep it down, will ya? They'll come for you again! 
And y'all are trying to say that it's wrong for me to suspect her. Don't tell Why me. Why is she separating from us again? Daughter. If they had, she'd at least scream. But I didn't hear anything. That's true. She probably wandered off somewhere. I wish she'd stop dragging us down. <laughs> Zilch is a hitman because he keeps hitting on Yomi. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> That's his whole eternity. <laughs> Thank you, Jean Philippe Ponson. It's beautiful. I don't think she turned back without good reason. Maybe she really did go on ahead. I don't know, man. I don't better hurry her. and catch up. Okay. Interesting. I wonder if we'll we find go? her fake corpse we next. Have to find her. Oh wait. Oh god. <laughs> hey, is that? Is that hers? Is it? I don't. Come on. I don't know. Aww, it does look like her jacket. Too late. <laughs> I bet flat meat doesn't taste very good. <laughs> oh fucking shit, got me. I bet you possessed her and walked her towards the zombies. I have to do something. I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. Right? It's like they're not gonna start killing all these characters off screen like this quickly, right? Like that just. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't think so. Unless it's the troll characters from the first chapter. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love him so much, I'm a pal. Be -de 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 -de. Karoom over. It's like she was gone so quickly. Would she really literally just be bones at this point? Like, I feel like you'd at least be able to make her out a little bit more. Let's see. Or actually. Oh, wait. Maybe it's not. Oh god, wait. Oh no, is this Fabuki actually? Wait, let me see. These clothes belong to Vivia. Oh wait, no! No, I liked before when I thought it was Karumi. <laughs> oh hell no, oh hell no. No, 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 no. Did the anemic vampire get whacked too? Well, he was half dead to begin with. Half dead? He's. They're gonna think he's one of their own kind. Come on. How awful. Another <laughs> one of your friends has been devoured. Oh no, not the sexy one. Oh, this is so stop sad. That. Despacito, stop singing that stupid song. Master, never mind that. I don't believe it. Vivia would not know. The, his remains, look at his remains. They are not sexy enough to be Vivia's remains. It's a report. This is definitely Vivia's handwriting. At least we get to hear his voice. Regarding homunculus characteristics, homunculi do not die. Rather, even if they die, they come back to life. Okay. The unified government sought out and began research for military applications of homunculi. It does kind of seem like to get actually into like kind of theory crafting territory. Oh, look at him! Look at him! Oh my god! Look at how cute he is! But he's smiling here. He's not dead! There's no way! He can't be dead. He can't be. He can't be. Why couldn't it have been Karumi? <laughs> the Karumi fans are gonna be like screaming at me. I see! fine i believe in him i believe in him but what was i gonna say um crap i had a theory or some thoughts yeah it does kind of seem like the homunculi more so that i guess they're taking dna from these people who died and then like they're making fake humans out of them and then i guess like they just become like immortal here he's saying they do not die rather they, even if they die they come back to life so interesting i guess we'll i guess we'll see and uh, thank you, NR China 20 Rose. I can, I, Yomi is amazing. Maybe he's sometimes bad. He may have some flaws, but that's his flaws. <laughs> some flaws? I think you're down. <laughs> I feel like he's like almost entirely made of flaws. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just teasing you though. I still love and support him on most things. <laughs> on what things? Cubing? Cubing NR China 20 Rose. Do you support him on that? <laughs> Oh man, you know, I'm not gonna judge anybody for standing him. I'm just kind of teasing you, but uh, I do I do still hate him <laughs> Thank you Jean Philippe Hansen's well, he finally died someday. No, he didn't he's alive He is alive and thank you Janae Nicole Fivia. No, I, he's got he's good guys. Come on. Do you think he could die? He's too sexy to die. Their desire was to create an immortal army Homunculi oh. look identical to Jesus. humans. 
You cannot tell them apart from one another in everyday life. Is there something happening to these homunculi that make them zombie-like? Like, do homunculi start out looking more human and then they eventually become these, like, homunculi version? You know what I mean? Because, I mean, you can definitely tell them apart right now. They can become injured and ill. Some oh. are handicapped, some are blind. It kind of seems like maybe that's the implication, though. Because it said, like, they do not die. Rather, if they die, they come back to life. So I think it kind of makes me wonder if some of these homunculi, there's, like, homunculi in the city but they haven't like died yet. And so maybe like, I guess even like the people that we killed, like uh, they were already homunculi and that's why they're like zombie in their zombie form now because they were homunculi to begin with. Is the whole city homunculi? Is that gonna be it? Like the whole entire Kanai ward is just like homunculi or like a decent part of it is homunculi? Huh, maybe. Was Yako born here or did he move here? I feel like that would be a pretty important thing to keep in mind, but just a thought. But once they die, everything is repaired upon revival. Death acts as the switch for rebuilding their cells. It only takes one day. Okay, so once they die, they become like the zombie version. It takes about a day, it seems like, maybe? They are immortal and even have eternal youth. Their cells may grow but they never deteriorate. They stop aging once their bodies stop growing. Those who have already stopped growing maintain that state. There are many unknowns regarding homunculus memory, but they seem to inherit those of their originals. Okay, interesting. What the hell are they doing to these people in Khan, I ward? So, whoa. Even if, yeah, like, Hypothetically speaking, even if Yako was born in like some other district, he came over here, they decided to use his cells and create like a new one. He would still have those memories of being born in like a different place and then, you know, he wouldn't realize he was a Mokulus, I don't think. That is kind of what it seems like, like all the people we killed were just homunculi. The memories at the time of DNA extraction are carried over and completely reconstructed mm. in the brain's memory field. Okay, that would... Oh man, that does make sense. Yeah, why they always are trying to get rid of the corpses so quickly. Because they always said it was because like rain deteriorates the body so quickly, but it's really because they can become zombies? Holy shit. Is everybody in God I Warped a zombie? It keeps the original's memories? What are they... And this place was like a corpse factory, literally. So were they just, like, kidnapping people from the city and turning them into homunculi? Like, just literally kidnapping them and, like, um, bringing them over here and, like, slowly turning the whole ward into these, like, immortal homunculi things? It does seem like it. Honestly. And thank you, uh, Big Chunk of Yummy Slammer. He's smiling because he finally died. Dream come true! Yeah! How dare you? How dare you? That's not why he's smiling. Stop it. Stop it. Thank you, Jean-Philippe Hansens. Yaku did say he was born and raised in Khan I Ward. Okay, I couldn't remember exactly. I don't even know if it matters, though. He was probably a Moculi either way. But I think I think that is kind of what this is going None for. None of them seem to have their memories, though. Well, Zulch did remember the past. Maybe that's the individual differences that was mentioned. I don't think Yuma's figured it out yet. Anyway, there's more to the report. What does it say? There's only one way to tell a homunculus and a human apart. Okay. Oh my god, if that's the case, would that mean Kurumi's already a homunculus too? I was right to suspect her, at least a little bit. I mean, she might not realize it. But the fact that she, like, grew up here probably means she is as well. I'll have to... Let me... How do I tell them apart? Let me know, Vivia. Homunculi uh -oh. have special characteristics to their blood. <laughs> homunculi have bright pink blood. It's like, I always thought that was weird how my blood was red, but their blood was like hot pink for some reason. That's crazy. Their blood's characteristics? That's the only way to tell them apart. That's not a very easy way to tell them apart, is it? Oop. I guess like, um... Maybe like a blood test or something? Vivia's investigation yielded this report about homunculus characteristics. Huh? 
Oh, shit. <gasps> no, wait. Is that Yako? It kind of looks like his jacket, doesn't it? Oh, no. Oh, no. What do I do? What do I do? I'm a pal. What do I do? And thank you to Bless Thane. The note doesn't end with I want to die someday. Confirmed fake note. Get good, Makoto. <laughs> we solved it. We figured it out. Oh, no. <laughs> It's Yak over. What do I do, I Zombie know, Zilch? I think it's calling to me. <sighs> called by that thing? Thought that was a shard <laughs> for a second. Oh god, it's Yak over. It's Zombie Yak over. <sighs> I guess in a way he's not dead though. So in a way we kind of won. <laughs> right, guys. Right. I'm just trying to be positive. I'm just trying to be positive. It's gone. Where did it go? Oh my god. Oh my god. Man, I was hoping there would be an easier way to tell them apart. Like, something in their, you know, like a color in their eyes or something that would tell them apart, you know? So I could, like, stare at Karumi and see if she's a homunculi. Is that... <gasps> Are you figuring it out? A friend of yours, Master? Oh my god, I think you figured it out. Maybe. <sighs> oh no. So, we gotta track him down, huh? Oh my god. Yako, Dad, where are you? Not here. Where did you go? Oh man. Maybe this way. Any oh, green wait. herbs around? <laughs> Girl, you're still making those references. Hmm. If the lights are on, the rest of this place must have working huh? electricity too. It doesn't seem like anyone lives here, so why is the power still on? Detective points. Oh Jesus Christ! What? <laughs> What clawed their ways through this? Were we making uh, Titans 2 here? Oh my god! <laughs> Look at that thing! Okay, I was like, for a second I thought maybe those were shards too. Wait, there is a fragment? Destroyed that giant shutter. Is there? I didn't see one. Sturdy. It would take a huge amount of force to make it look like this. <laughs> okay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Where's the shard? Did you guys say there was a shard around here? I guess like it seems pretty dark. So I don't see one. I guess I was kind of focusing a lot on, um, you know, like Yako being dead and being a zombie and then somebody tearing into, uh, I think it's later, but someone correct me if I'm wrong. That dark figure was calling me. Okay. I have to go and meet whoever it was. So is it? Is it... Some people are saying there's not. Okay, no shard in this area. It seems like most people are saying there's not. Okay, cool. Just want to make sure I don't want to miss one again. And then have to restart. <laughs> okay, cool. Just let me know whenever there is. Ugh, this looks very ominous. Kanai Ward living conditions. Perhaps because of daily rainfall, some people in Kanai Ward don't mind getting wet. Riverbank. Do the polluted waters. Fish are rarely caught. I'm trying to think of other, like, weird stuff about Con I Ward. Stairs? Looks like they lead underground. Oh, dang. This place looks huge. You're still going, Master? Yeah. I have a feeling I need to talk to that person. Oh, man. I hope Yako, he's gonna be like, hopefully he's gonna be a talking zombie, too, just like Zilch. <laughs> he like starts talking. He's like, we skip to Yako. We're like, Yako, yes. Tell me what what do you have to say, Yako, in your infinite zombie wisdom? He's just like, Yomi, Director Yomi. It's like, God damn it! Why is every zombie obsessed with him? Director Yomi. The head, Master. You could be falling for a trap, you know. That's possible. But I have to go. interesting to see this perspective. There's no other evidence around. Good point. Whether a zombie or death god pops out, comes down to your luck, master. Okay. Oh man, looks like there's blood coming out of that fan, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, yikes. Forever. How much longer till we reach the end? <laughs> yeah, meat buns. That's what he'd be talking about. Man, meat I buns. What ahead. Where's those meat buns, Yomi? I'm so glad we didn't- Oh! Nope! <laughs> GG! Bye-bye! No, thank you!
Thank you, Dr. Weska. I don't want to talk to your evil ass. God, of course you're fucking alive. Or a zombie version or whatever. You know, at least if Vivia dies, I would want him to become a sexy zombie. <laughs> it's not fair. They need to make a homunculus of him for us, you know? Just so he can be around forever for us. Ugh. Can I just keep walking? <laughs> oh, god damn it! <laughs> Dr. West? What are you doing here? I thought I could ignore him. No! Hey. Oh, god. It's you. You. That head twitch. Hey. It's you. 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 He can talk, but he's also bugging out. Huh. Dr. Weska, please, tell me about the homunculi. Is he talking about, huh, I'm trying to wonder what he's referring to. Hey, it's you, is it the killer, maybe? You were researching homunculi, weren't you? Huh. Homunculi. I mean, they're all drooling, too. H how do you know? Oh. About the biggest stain on my life. Oh, he spoke normally. He's probably reacting to the word homunculi. He doesn't seem to have completely lost his memories. Mm. Doctor, what happened to the homunculus research? Such a terrible memory. I'm ashamed to say my homunculus research with Amaterasu Corporation fell behind. It does seem like, yeah, he was the one who was like leading it, or like at least that one factory that was competing with the other one. Rumor had it the UG's research facility was on the doorstep of a successful experiment. Okay. So in order to catch up, the homunculus test site up ahead was constructed. Dang, he's way more with it than Zilch. There's a homunculus test site up ahead. Is that the real secret lab? I guess he did die like the most recently out of all the ones we've seen. So maybe that's another reason why he's able to kind of retain his memories more. I was getting impatient. I used every method imaginable to complete the research first. He do got some uh, Vivia posture going on <laughs> right now. Do you dare criticize my methods? It, no. I thought so. Sacrifices are necessary during experimentation. I hate this guy. I needed our experiment to complete a homunculus first to silence that pesky unified government to conduct the experiment in utmost secrecy. I purchased the entire surrounding village. Oh, wow. He purchased the whole village? And made it a restricted area. <laughs> this motherfucker! <laughs> He's behind all this shit. Thought so. Sacrifices. Oh, man. Did he kill? I guess he might have started experimenting on everybody in this village. Man, he probably just set up the whole toxic gas leak as like a fake thing. And so... Three years ago, the fateful Project Homunculus began. What happened in that experiment? Well, of course... Uh... <laughs> I can't remember. Yomi! Where's Director Yomi? Hmm? You... Uh oh. What happened to my experiment? It's been a week since it began. Who does he think I am? Tell me now. What happened during the blank week? Blank week? So wait, what happened to my experiment? It's been a week since it began. What happened during the blank week? Something happened to his experiment during the blank week? What? T tell me. T t tell. Tell. <laughs> tell. <laughs> The neck crack. Tell. Tell. He keeps breaking down at the worst time. Oh my time. god. Maybe he just needs a good smack. Jesus. The week was mentioned again. Yeah. Maybe it has something to do with the experiments that took place here. Well, I think, um, crap. What did, um, 
Zilch said? I think he said that, like, uh, Makoto stopped the homunculi research. And it kind of seems like he's implying that during the blank week, blank week, I cannot speak today, blank week, that, uh, his experiment was also wiped. So is that just when, like, Makoto decided to wipe the homunculi experimentation? But I'm pretty sure everybody in the city is homunculus. <laughs> or at least that's the theory I'm going with right now. But I guess we'll see. The Miculus test site was located inside the restricted area. The confidential project Miculus took place three years ago. Whatever it is, we should keep moving. The homunculus testing site is up ahead. Okay. Right. Let's see it for ourselves. Interesting. Interesting. First. Let's summarize all we've learned about the homunculi. Oh man, are we about to get to like an important part? Kind of seems like it for summarizing. <laughs> and that's what happened. Um, let me, um... Thank you, big chunk of yummy slander. Yako like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> all the meat buns. <laughs> oh, he's like literally in heaven if he's here. Oh, he just gets to be surrounded by meat buns made with human flesh or homunculi flesh, probably. <laughs> Thank you, Ither. Drawing Zomi smooching in the back of a truck right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. Post it to the art channel. I want to see it. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh my god. <laughs> Ten years ago, the unified government requested that Amaterasu Corporation conduct homunculus research. I love how even though like 90% of us hate Yomi, we're all on board with, <laughs> with Zomi. <laughs> we all ship it. Three years ago, to compete with the UG's research facility, they built the homunculus testing site. That's where Project Homunculus took place. But we don't know exactly what that entails. And right after the experiments, the blank week mystery occurred. Yeah. Okay, three years compete. EG's research facility. They built the homunculus. That's why it's where that took place. We don't know exactly what that entails. And right after the experiment, blank week mystery occurred. I was like, huh. I don't know. I guess we'll see. That's the only thing I think that's kind of going against my theory about the whole award being like homunculi is that it does seem like Zilch was also implying that like, you know, Makoto, eh, I don't know if I really want to go back there. Um, but I don't know if like, I feel like it is kind of implying that Makoto stopped the research, but I do think based off of all the zombies we've seen, it does kind of seem like everybody was a homunculi that we killed, you know? Mask guy. Makoto Kagatsuchi appeared at Kanai Ward right after that, too. Sketchy. He somehow got ahead of Peacekeeper Director Yomi and became CEO of Amaterasu. He halted the homunculus research, and as a result, the homunculi became an urban legend in Kanai Ward. Okay. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Later, you and I descended on this ruined, depressed land of Kanai Ward. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I think we're about to get to an important part. I'm gonna take a bathroom break really quickly, but um, let me read this donation too. Thank you, Mega Shark, ZDA, Zomi forever. That's true. You know, <laughs> I may hate Yomi, but I do. I do ship Zomi. <laughs> I do ship it. Oh yeah, let me. Um, oh yeah, this is a new little guy I got. I guess I could hang him up for you guys to look at. Ah, wait, can you go up there? Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Can you guys see him? Ah, oh, he's so angy. <laughs> little angy puppy dog. Okay, yeah, I'll be right back, guys. And y'all can feel free to take a little break, too, if you want. Get some water or a snack or something. But yeah, I'll be right back.
Y'all are so funny, dude. Are y'all seriously swimming over the chair still? <laughs> this chair is like half destroyed too. It's like maybe if it was a nice chair, <laughs> I'd get it. <laughs> oh man. And yeah, no love, no love for the little Shiva. I kind of want to leave him here. He's pretty cute. <laughs> I like him. He's just a little guy. Okay, we can go ahead and continue and uh, see what Look, happens. Another really tough-looking shutter has been completely beaten up. Yeah, what the hell is going on with this too? We haven't really, uh, I guess, I haven't really thought too much about that. <laughs> Some kind of like super zombie being made too, or super homunculus. I guess that could actually be like a full metal alchemist type of uh, homunculi being made too. Now that I think about it. Okay, <laughs> the chair may be damaged, but it's the imperfections that make it what beautiful. What here? Is this oh, what the, the homunculus hell? testing site? Whoa! Now this looks pretty wild. Wow, it's like so futuristic looking. Yuma. <gasps> Yako! Shinigami. It's Did a voice too! Huh? Mm, not really. Must have been the wind. Girl! Huh? No, I heard Unless... someone call my name. Is he just communicating with his son? His son? Father to son communication. Oh, Yako, I know you're here. These little pods they would make the homunculus in or something? Maybe. Oh my god, this place is so freaking big. The sun is shining through the ceiling. And since it's not raining here, could we be outside of- Oh Connor? wow, that's true. We actually are, aren't we? Oh my god, I didn't even notice that. I can smell the ocean. Maybe this was built over the sea. Mm -hmm. Whatever, it's not yak over. <laughs> we called it too soon. Oh my god, there's so many of these things. This has definitely got to be where they were, like, created or something. You, mom, Yako. There it is. I heard that voice again. It's still here. It's coming from over there. You sure? Don't tell me you're bugging out too. Now you're hearing things. Poor master. I'm surprised Shinigami can't hear him. I'm not going crazy. I really did hear a voice. Yako. Man, this place is like totally destroyed too. Oh, what the hell? Who is that? Some old guy? Let's click on this first. Some sort of this control device. Seems like this console controls the machines on the other side of the window. Mm -hmm. Um, which ones? Which ones? There's a lot of them. Um, um, none of the machines are doing anything. Well, it's an abandoned lab. Okay. Yeah, who is this dude? <laughs> who is- Do we- Have we seen this guy before? Am I going crazy? Let me click on this first. You're not Yako, so. <laughs> I can see a giant ominous machine through the window. Is it used for homunculi research somehow? Uh, it's giving me the heebie-jeebies. Let's stay away. I can click on this too. I don't know if it's gonna be the same thing. Uh, there is a message on the control unit that says none of the machines are in operation. Okay. So was it just that like Makoto stopped it, but it was already done? Or was it, oh fuck, was it the blink week was like, okay, so before they were just making the Homunculi here for like the, I don't know, like the UGs, like Immortal Army or whatever the hell they wanted. But then maybe Makoto was like, let's take it a step farther and just replace our entire ward with that. I mean, if your whole ward is made of homunculi, then I guess you could, you know, win wars if you went to war with a different place. Maybe he just decided to kind of use the research for himself rather than giving it to UG, which kind of seemed to be the other, I guess, area that was in it. Oh. You can't skip me! Who are you? Stop being old phobic, Weeby! Hey, this guy can actually talk! Who is he? I've never met him before. Is this the guy calling you, Master? No, I don't think so. Um, my name is Yuma. Who are you? What? You don't know who I am? His voice kind of sounds familiar. <laughs> you must live in the boonies. 
I'm the CEO of oh, Amaterasu the... Corporation. Although, I conceded that post to someone else a little while ago. <laughs> and what happened to you right afterwards, huh? Became a became a zombie? Conceded? You mean to Makoto Kagutsuchi? Oh, you're a Makoto's acquaintance. Okay. You'll have to excuse me then. Is this like Makoto's dad? A or friend grandpa? of his is a friend of mine. How about a glass of wine to... Probably not the way he's referring to him. Sorry, I'll pass. <laughs> Besides, there's something I want to ask you. Very well. What is it? Ask me anything. This guy can actually communicate. Hans seems a lot more alert than the others. Yeah, for sure. Master, now's your chance to get some answers. Huh. I guess because he's like, he worked on the zombies, so maybe like understands it a little bit better, maybe? I don't know. I'm not really <laughs> sure. Um, I would like to ask you about the Blank Week mystery. Might take the Shiva down. The Blank Week uh, yeah. mystery. I don't know, I feel like this guy might have died before it happened. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened. What? But piecing together the bits and pieces I know, mm. I do have an idea. Back then, a plot about the unified government mm. planning to occupy Kanai Ward okay. had been uncovered. That might be why he switched the homunculi or the humans with the homunculi. I'm assuming that's what Makoto ended up doing. The Yuchi wanted Kanai Ward? From what I understand, the Blank Week mystery is a conspiracy the UG set up to take over the city. Okay. Why would the unified government want Kanai Ward? I have no idea. I suppose it's to steal the rights to Amaterasu Corporation. As a matter of fact, Kanai Ward was wiped from the map for some time just as the UG wanted. Okay. But we were saved by my friend, Makoto Kagutsuchi. Okay, so I guess my theory was wrong. Let's see. I remember I was wiped the map some time ago, just as the UG wanted. Steal the rights. So it was conspiracy by so the UG set up to take over the city, and then Makoto stopped them from taking over the city by blah, blah, blah. Well, I guess it could still be the thing that I mentioned, maybe. UG, Unified Government. It is a fact that the Unified Government once planned to occupy Kanai Ward. How did Makoto overcome the threat of Kanai Ward disappearing? He appeared from nowhere and volunteered to negotiate with the UG. Okay, so this is how he became the CEO in the first place? He just kind of came in and like saved them? Rumor is, he has a special connection within their ranks. Oh. I didn't expect much from him, of course. But it wasn't as if we had any other choice. Still a Nepo, baby. And before we knew it, the negotiations were complete. How? Upon arriving at the negotiation table, he immediately announced mm. that Kanai Ward would be isolated. Unexpectedly, the UG agreed. Both sides accepted a non-intervention condition and concluded negotiations. Interesting. I suspect some sort of secret arrangement was made regarding homunculus information. Makoto didn't tell you about the details of the arrangement? Well, that was part of the agreement. Speaking of, there was one other condition. He said if negotiations were successful, mm. I would have to concede my position as CEO to him. Oh my god. I guess they were just so desperate that I decided to go with it anyways. Interesting. So yeah, part of the agreement was that he couldn't tell them about it. It's hard to believe you gave up your seat as CEO to a complete stranger. For real. I agree. It's a ridiculous story. But without him, the UG would have occupied Kanai Ward, and Amaterasu would have been consumed. I wanted to protect this company, and he wanted to protect Kanai Ward. Our interests aligned, and I was already quite up there in age. Makoto loves Kanai Ward and its residents. 
I knew I could entrust this land to him. That's what he says. I don't know, man. I'm still kind of... I mean, I guess you could think he's doing what he, whatever he's doing is best for Khan I Ward as well, even if it is, like, fucked up. But why the trade-off? Why did he want to be CEO of Amaterasu Corporation? He can protect Kanai Ward without it, right? But Kanai Ward is now entirely Amaterasu Corporation itself. And I know that he said he wanted to stop homunculus research immediately. In retrospect, there's no denying that the research was extremely inhumane. <laughs> In retrospect, you know, at the time I was like, this seems perfectly fine to do. But you know, looking back, I'm like, that was a little fucked up. Human experimentation, maybe that wasn't my best idea. <laughs> I'm so goofy and quirky for doing that. <laughs> so oh my Koto god. So became CEO of Amaterasu just to stop the homunculus research? Ultimately... I can say the decision to concede my position to him was the right one. Under his leadership, Amaterasu expanded its businesses. Mm. Their total assets now rival that of the UG. It does seem like that might be Makoto's goal is to like kind of take over the rest of the world, honestly, <laughs> or like compete against UG, which I mean, that's just like the United like nations or something, I think anyways. So it is kind of going against the rest of the world. If I'm, you know, interpreting this like world correctly. Long live Amaterasu, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Makoto Katsuts Ka Kakutsuchi, was the one who saved Kanai Ward from the unified government's plot. The former CEO of Amaterasu Corporation was in the restricted area. I am kind of curious how soon, uh... The former CEO of Amaterasu Corp. <laughs> it's pretty interesting that this guy died so quickly after Makoto took over, though, you know what I mean? He's like, I don't regret it, but it's like, how long did you live <laughs> afterwards, though? The previous CEO died in an accident. Mm. But my guess is that actually, you think Yomi is responsible? Oh, he thinks Yomi is responsible. <laughs> oh, he's so full of it. I mean, I love blaming stuff on Yomi more than anybody. But I don't. Mm, no, I think it was Makoto this time. That's just a guess, mind you. I don't know. Maybe Yomi's just so evil. Did you see what he did to his boyfriend and his girlfriend? Oh, what a dick. <laughs> Yomi must have killed him for giving away the CEO position to Makoto. With that in mind. I don't know if he actually made the right decision. Killed. Killed him for giving away the... <laughs> Are you believing this? Are you believing... I don't know. I mean, as much as I love to shit on Yomi, I'm still not really believing this. I think... <sighs> I guess Yomi does have, like, a motivation for killing the CEO because he, like, hates Makoto so bad, but... I don't know. I feel like it would make more sense if he just tried to kill Makoto instead of killing the previous CEO. I don't know if he actually made the right decision. I don't know. Well, if Yomi was the CEO, the city would be in much worse shape. That's true. You, Mom. Oh. You, Mom. Oh yeah, it's uh. There it is again. It's Yako. Uh, really this time. Oh, he's actually saying my name too. <laughs> I miss you. I miss you, Yako. It's not Yako. It's not. Okay, let me um read this. Thank you, Demon30. I missed the stream because I was helping my parents with a party I'm not a part of. Good thing I've played this game before. What have we learned so far? Uh, we've been mostly learning about the homunculi. Um, we found remains uh, potentially of Dezu, Halara, and um, Vivia as well, but I'm not really believing that they're actually did that we actually did find remains of them i think it was set up by makoto and then it kind of seems like all the people in i don't know my theory right now is that yeah, all the people in kanai ward are homunculi because it kind of seemed like yeah that, that was what vivi was saying i think that's kind of the gist of it we're mostly yeah just getting a lot of information on the homunculi though and thank you in our china 20 rose see yomi did good question mark i don't know if he did good but he might not have done this one bad thing. This time. <laughs> that voice is close by, right? Let's oh try God. looking for it, Master. We're so close. Yako. Come back, Yako. Come back. 
Oh, hey, we can click on this, too. Creepy machine. This is... Looking closer, there are a bunch of capsule-type things on this machine. Ooh. Gross. They look kind of like insect eggs. I don't want to be around here. It's pretty bad when Shinigami is creeped out. Kanai Ward's remaining unsolved mysteries. A brave master ventures deeper into the lab in search of the unknown. A never-before-seen device, suspicious equipment, a master prowling into a treacherous lab. And then... <laughs> And then? What? What happened? <laughs> You'll have to read the Master Goes Exploring series. Mm. I think you're Jeez, living it, Yuma. I something suddenly popped out. Anyway, don't go making up a series about me. Ugh, were you born joyless, Master? Oh, wow. Sort of look kind of destroyed down here. Interesting. Kanai Station. Oh, blow it quickly. So, you're the one who's been calling for me. Oh my god, literally. Chief. The same shoes and everything. Was that really? This guy? <laughs> oh. I hope he doesn't look too rough in a zombie form. I'm happy to see you, even if it's like this. <sighs> Do you remember me? Yako. Yuma. Oh, he does! Yes, I'm Yuma! Chief, you understand me? I don't know if he can speak too well, but... Oh. Something plot this relevant? This is for me? It's sweet that, yeah, he does remember me, though, even if he can't speak, like, perfectly, you know? It's like Yuma was still in his mind. Wait, please hear me out. Just for a little while. Oh. Master, wait. Why? Nothing good will come from chasing after the dead. <sighs> just let him go. B but don't you think Can you I just give him a hug? I had left for you instead. <sighs> I know, come on, I'll just one hug. I think that's what he wants. Come on. <sighs> Fine. Man. Chief Yako, thank you for everything. Can he respond? No. I wonder kind of like the loop, you know, that some of these like zombies get caught up on, like uh, Yako and uh, Zilch. So I feel like some of the stuff they were thinking about like right before they died. Thank goodness. I think the that kind of makes sense. Works. If he's thinking about Yuma like right before he died, especially if there was, yeah, something else that like he needed to you know, tell him or give him. Oh, God. Thank you, Cartman94. I love you, Yuma. Buy my mixtape. It's not a blink. Hey, have you listened to my hot mixtape? That was what I really wanted you to, to listen to before before I died. Now I can check the oh, disc God. the chief gave me. I wonder, I wonder if it will finally be the blank week. Maybe. Oh. Oh god, Here's not this guy again. Well, I hope it's recording. Let's begin. Leaving this video is the greatest stain on my career as a researcher. But given the tragedy about to occur, this record would be of great assistance. You're actually gonna try to redeem yourself? It is currently 2 a.m. Fourteen hours have passed since Project Homunculus began. Okay, just fourteen hours? Jesus. I'll get straight to the point. Project mm. Homunculus is a failure. Okay. Something unexpected occurred in our efforts to find suitable DNA. Although we successfully created homunculi, hmm. the results have been dubbed defective. Defective. Defective homunculi have a fatal flaw to them. In the revival process, their intelligence is lost. They are mm. reduced to nothing but senseless, flesh-seeking monsters. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. The whole zombie part would be considered a failure. Since, yeah, it's like the whole point of making homunculi was like to make them immortal. Which it's like they kind of are immortal, but they also <laughs> do become zombies after they die. So, yeah. There is also another flaw. Oh, there's another one. 
In a previous experiment, a defective homunculus oh, shit, blanket? was exposed. Trying to adjust for it worked against us. Wait, what? Made them even more violent. And uh -huh. We are in hell itself. <laughs> They're nothing more than monsters. Oh, shit. It's here. What? Listen, defective homunculi will devour humans down to their bones. They will drink every last drop of your blood. Oh, you know what? I bet this is him before he became a homunculi. He probably, is he going to die in this videotape, actually, now that I think about it? <laughs> and then the other case is probably his homunculi version. It's death, you know what I mean? At this rate. Oh shit, yep, oh, I had a feeling. I was like, this is a human's death. I bet. What the? I was like, boy, they ex they were exposed to blank? <laughs> Honestly, my first thought was me buns, but that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> blank made them even more violent and blank. I'm not sure. <sighs> I feel like the meat buns would probably be something that was made to like calm them down. If, um, if anything, so I'm not really sure what would, what would make them be worse. And then, like, is them getting exposed to something what makes, I guess, whatever thing, like, tour into the lab, maybe? I guess we'll see. That was Dr. Huesca, right? Looks like a zombie got to him. But Project Homunculus supposedly happened three years ago. If the doctor died in a failed experiment three years ago, then who was the Dr. Weska I met in Amaterasu's lab? I mean, he is right there. Why not ask him? <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> That's true, I guess. A video recorded by the doctor, he talks about his homunculus research. Although the creation of homunculi was successful, the results were defective. Aw, yeah. I miss him. The look at you have lost all reason. Seem to be attracted to sound. Oh, wait for a second. I thought that was, uh, <laughs> never mind. I thought that was Yako for a second <laughs> when I saw the jacket. My bad. Just a random dude. Dr. Weska, please tell me. Do you remember what happened in the experiment three years ago? Hey, it's you. Uh, you. <laughs> you. You. Hey. 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 Who does he think I am? I feel like my initial guess is just Yomi, but <laughs> most of the zombies have been obsessed. Well, I guess it's mostly just Zilch that was obsessed with Yomi. But still, I mean, it does kind of make sense we'd be talking to Yomi since they were like directing messages or like exchanging messages and stuff. Um, let me um read a couple more of these too. <laughs> Oh yeah, thank you, big chunk of Yomi Slander. My man looks like he's gonna be in the next Kingdom Hearts and separate himself into 13 people. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Demon 30, Crackpot Theory. Remember the Necronomicon motive? Oh my God, no. <laughs> Not the Necromonic <laughs> Necronomicon motive. That was the stupidest motive ever. Monokuma insisted that it's possible. Hum. Samugi's talent looked more like a fort. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Kill me. Thank you, Mario MP98. I like to believe he's cussing a lot on the scene. <laughs> that could be a funny theory, too, actually. Him just like cursing. It was just getting bleeped out, you know? No bad words. Damn it. It's no use. The video could have been fake. No. Nah. Maybe if it was just some random disc, but Chief Yaka went out of his way to give it to me. It has to be an important clue. Surprise, Yomi hasn't, or not Yomi. <laughs> Oh God, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Yuma. I did not mean to disrespect you like that. <laughs> not a Weska ex Yomi. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. What was I going to say, though? I'm surprised, yeah, Yuma hasn't really caught on to this. I guess it's one of those things that the game wants you to figure out. I feel pretty strongly that I'm right, especially considering, yeah, we just saw Weska, like, die again. And I think the main thing that makes sense is just that, yeah, he's a homunculus now, and that's why... His, you know, second death led to him becoming like the zombie type but of thing. But the last part was nothing but static, so there's no telling what he was saying. The homunculi have some sort of flaw. If they have a weakness, we need to know it. 
Did you get to meet your benefactor? Perhaps oh, you finally God. obtained the truth. Speaking of which, Kodo. don't you think you should return to the factory? Kurumi is in danger. What? Oh, God. Hey, master! <sighs> You really oh, whoa, I gotta up. actually run back? Do oh you? my god. It's gonna be taunting me the whole time. Despite all the murders you've seen, despite getting knocked out over and over again. He really does got like a hate boner against me. And even murdered real criminals in the name of truth. Why won't you just die, you cockroach? Why won't you just stop? Oh wow, is this all blood? Ugh. It's red, though. I get kind of confused with this game sometimes, and sometimes they have blood red, and sometimes they have it pink. Kamasaki, Master Detective, Kurumi's Duffel Coat. I'm surprised you still call yourself a detective. Oh, to be clear, that's a compliment. Is it? A normal person would have fled. Anyone with even the slightest bit of a conscience wouldn't be able to take it. Does he, like, know about my power and stuff, you too? Are. You just won't fucking stop, will you? <laughs> Why won't you just give up? Wait, is the shard... Is the shard It'd here now? one thing if you were using your abilities, but you're actually using a death god's powers, aren't you? Oh, he does know! Okay! Huh? <laughs> what? How the hell does he know that? This guy knows about me? How? <sighs> Perhaps you're trying to corner me with all these acrobatics. But in truth, this is the worst possible move you can make. You can never outsmart me. Hmm. Interesting. Also, there's a missable NPC. I'll keep that in mind. Is there... So no shard yet still? Okay. I will trust you guys. Man, how would he know? Unless he also made a deal with the Death God? Is that a thing? Is it like Death Note? Where, like, if you made a deal with the Death God, well, then you even had you had to touch the Death Note if you went to see somebody else's Shinigami. So you just have Vivia powers? She's not here. Kurumi, where are you? Knowing that Vladdy's personality, she wouldn't go back the way she came. Try looking for her up ahead. Right. Let's look that way first. <laughs> like how he just agrees this time. Right. You're totally. You're totally right. That Flatty would not go the same way. Right okay. here, master. Yeah, we never went through this door. Yikes! Before you know it, the truth is right in front of you. Have you been enjoying my party? So, it is you after all. Makoto mm. Kagutsuchi, <laughs> it's you, isn't it? You at least figured out that part, huh, Yuma? The white smoke that knocked us out at the detective agency was from that gift you gave me. Oh, you figured it out? What's your goal here? What are you trying to make me do? Please continue enjoying <laughs> the rest of the tour. So passive aggressive. Damn it! <laughs> Please enjoy the rest of the tour, bitch. How many times did I warn you to stay away from him? You should have listened. It's all too late now. Besides, I'm sure from the moment I got on the Amaterasu Express, I was fated to meet Makoto. It's too obvious of a setup to call it fate. <laughs> this is way more like the perfect crime or something. Freaking Makoto, dude. I'm gonna save just in case since they're basically there's like something missable here. So just in case I miss it, I can load this. Ah, oh, Vivia. I don't want to save over you though. Let me find somebody else to save over. We'll do Dezu. <laughs> I am glad that Yuma finally uh, at least put together the uh, whatchamacallit. Oh. Look. oh, is this it? Wait, who is this? Uh. 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 Who, who is this? Is that... Think? The hitman. 
Oh, Don't it is. Leave. Yeah, I was like, I just kind of assumed because of the hood, maybe. Is it you? Is it really you? Oh yeah. Are you think the slaughter artist? Mess him up, Yuma. Kick him in his zombie balls. <laughs> My job. I think that is what this is. Like, it's like their last thoughts before death, just kind of play in a loop, you know what I mean? <gasps> he talked! Just like always, the only difference the target was a detective. Is he talking about what happened? Yeah. During the hit, a lot of commotion. Still, I did my job. I mean, Yako did pay him to do his job, but yeah, obviously being a hitman's not <laughs> a great job. I knew it'd be a tough job from the start, but I couldn't refuse Makoto Kagatsuchi. Oh! Introduced me. Huh? What? What? It would be a tough job, but I couldn't refuse. Makoto Kagatsuchi, but Yako was the one who hired him, but I guess was Makoto in on this somehow, too? The client didn't. No. Oh, wow. But otherwise, was. I would have refused the job. Oh my god, so Makoto was in on that whole thing too? I guess it was mostly Yomi's scheme, but Makoto obviously had some like vested interest in it like going through as well. After completing the job, I was told uh, I knew too much. I was wondering, yeah, how this guy even died, because I was like, I don't think he got affected by the mystery labyrinth like at all. <laughs> Master, if what he's saying is true, yeah. Koto was the one who instigated the chief to hire the hitman. Does that mean he knew about the chief and Yomi's plot and took advantage of it? It does definitely seem like All it. To eliminate Yomi, and he took the chief's life too. That makes sense, yeah, because he did want Yomi to get fired. No wonder he came in and like saved us last minute. He was totally like. And he knew Yo he obviously, or you know, if he's the announcer, which I'm like 99.9% .9 sure he is. He is also aware of Yuma's powers, like uh, using Shinigami as well. So he was also able to kind of just figure out how everybody was going to act in that scenario and use it to his advantage. So he knew to come up right after when Yuma would use the mystery labyrinth too. All along. Motherfucker. If that's the case, I'll make him pay. Jesus. Why would they make this a missable cutscene? That seems so important. Oh my god. That's crazy. Once the job was complete, Makoto Kagatsuchi <laughs> sure is thorough. God, he sucks. It's like he's totally emotionless. At this point, I respect the guy more than I fear him. Oh no, I see another body! I see another body! Is Makoto trying to compete with uh, Yomi? <laughs> Who's worse, Yomi? Me or you? Oh no, is that Fabuki probably? Again. I think we can stick to the same old strategy. Sounds good. Oh my goodness. Who's my little buddy? Hey little guy. Can I have some of your people meat buns? <laughs> the special meat buns. Okay, is it over here? There it is. Oh my goodness. I want an Alba Pal so bad. Oh no, I do, I see the flower. Come on, Fubuki wouldn't die. She's got too OP of a forte. Come on, guys, come on. Come on. I don't, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. And then, uh, <laughs> thank you, NR China 20 Rose. Woo, Yomi, not at fault. Ah, I mean, he still made his choices. <laughs> but Makoto also used the situation. They both suck. That's that's where I'm uh that's where I'm concluding. Thank you, Demon 30, Yomi fans. Why'd you get rid of the love? Uh oh. Uh oh, oh now I get it. Oh man. Thank you for the donation. Appreciate ya. These clothes. It's not Fubu over! Stop it! Stop it! Uh, 
fake. And... Yet again, another one of your friends was devoured. So sad. The biggest dimwit survived the longest. <laughs> Perhaps thanks to her <laughs> ability. Oh my god, he literally knows everything. <laughs> it's Fubuki's handwriting. Homunculus experiment report. My apologies. I do not understand what is on the computer screen, so okay. I will copy it down. I was kind of wondering how they were going to have Fubuki's, like, note look. I was like, if she starts sounding, like, really smart in her note, I'm going to start thinking that, uh, you know, what's-his-face just planted this, too. Three years ago, the Unified Government's research facility successfully created the first homunculus. Okay. The secret to their success was the DNA used as the core for their artificial cells. I wonder who the first one was, now that I think about it. I bet that's going to be probably, uh pretty important too. That's Fubu fubucked up, man. <laughs> now. <laughs> Jesus. And thank you, Joseph Artsader. Fun fact, if you take the other path and notice Fink on the other side, the game will prevent you to go back there, which makes that whole scene missable. What the hell? That's so weird. Yeah, the only reason I really kept such an eye out for it was because y'all mentioned it and I saw like the little dot on the map, so I kind of knew to go there right away. That is so crazy. I don't understand why they would make that missable. I hope people, um, well, I guess John Awesome's already played the game, but I hope people were sure to tell him about it and people are able to get, um, you know, make sure that Nico, uh, Nico B sees that scene too. It seems really important. Their focus was on individual differences in DNA, so they experimented with various peoples. Makes they sense. They found success in one person's DNA. Someone believed to have the mm. world's greatest mind. Probably Makoto, maybe? <laughs> I was like, would he be the first homunculus? Does that make any sense? But because of that greatest mind, the completed homunculus was able to reflect on its condition. As a result, it realized it was a homunculus and escaped the research facility. Maybe it is Makoto, and that would make sense why he stopped the homunculus research? Maybe, but then again, he also wanted to like compete against the UG, I think, for Khan I Ward. Currently. That specimen is still missing. Hmm. So the UG's research facility successfully created a homunculus three years ago. And Project Homunculus occurred at the same time. Okay. So that's why Amaterasu Corp grew impatient. The key point is that the specimen went missing. Probably has nothing to do with this city, though. But what's this about <laughs> someone it? having the best brain in the world? They gotta be exaggerating. I don't know why she would just kind of, I don't know, blow that off. Key point is that the specimen went missing. Probably has nothing to do with the city, though. It definitely seems like it has to do with the city. What are you talking about, girl? <laughs> the bookie's investigation yielded this report about the homunculus experiments. Okay. Oh! Emma. Hey! You're here! Karumi. Are you okay? Where were you? They probably don't even want to eat her because she's a homunculus too. They're like, yeah, that's the same. She's made out of the same stuff that I made out of. No, thank you. And thank you, uh, Locatus58. Zilch and Makoto are dating. They killed Yuma's friends. I don't know. I think Zilch hated Makoto. <laughs> Zilch is way too in love with Yomi to do that. I'm sorry. Thank you for the dono, though. I thought I saw someone who looked like Aiko. Oh, Aiko. that makes sense. Your friend who passed away six months ago? She would be here too. Yes. I lost you when I went looking for her. But I got to talk to her a bit. Mm. She looked and talked differently from how I remembered. Still, I finally got to say goodbye. I think she understood. Okay, that makes sense. That makes you a little less sussy, I think. That's good to hear. I got to see Chief Yako back there too. The Chief? Did you speak to him? No, not really. Uh, but he did hand me something that exposes the truth about this place. That sounds like something the chief would do. Oh, right. There was something I remembered after talking with Aiko. What do you mean? I'm so glad Kurumi's all right. Don't breathe a sigh of relief just yet, Master. The Blatty said she remembered something. <sighs> See, it just says someone's oh, remains. It's not... It's not specifying yet. 
We're good. We're good. They're alive and well. Fabuki's being a dumbass somewhere. Vivia's taking a nap, talking about wanting to die. They're good. I believe. I believe in my my fellow detectives. And thank you, Demon Thirty. They killed the cast to bring in another Chapter Zero Part Two. No, they didn't. They're alive. It says someone's remains, not Fabuki's remains. They're good. They're good. I will stay to Lulu till the end. Um, Heiko really hated syringes. She'd raise hell whenever the school gave out vaccines. Mm. Um, where's this coming from? <laughs> Kinda random. I'm getting there. I mentioned syringes to see if it was really Aiko I was talking to. Then I suddenly remembered. A few years ago, something bizarre happened in the city. What happened? Oh yeah, we can ask her about the blank week thing, right? Since she's an actual citizen. She right, might Everyone remember. Everyone in Kanai Ward had to take a blood test. The oh! Were, no one could refuse. I bet they did, huh? Because, yeah, blood's the only way you can tell if somebody's a homoculi or not. A forced blood test? Yeah, I bet they but fucking yeah, did. I we told it was to test for a contagious disease. I had no reason to doubt it at the time. <laughs> What's the disease called? Um, um, you're asking too many questions. No more questions. But my grandpa didn't actually get tested. Oh. He said it was suspicious how the peace were enforcing it. Her grandpa died, though, didn't he? I guess he might be the only one who's not a zombie. You mean your grandpa who went missing? Yeah. And you know what? Grandpa disappeared right after the blood test. Mm. He and his friends did everything they could to make sure no one found out they avoided the test. So wait, did he just go missing or did he die? I thought he died, but maybe he just disappeared. But right after it happened, Grandpa was caught and completely vanished. She's talking about Blink Week? The same happened to anyone who didn't take the test. Mm. Hold on, Kurumi. By it, do you mean... Oh, we finally get to find out. The Blank Week mystery? Huh? Y yeah, I do. Okay, you just went missing. A few years ago, a blood test was conducted on all Kanai Ward residents. Oh my all god, that's so that suspicious. The blank mystery is a taboo within Kanai Ward. Can you tell me about it? What exactly is the blank week? I can't tell you anything. What? Why? What? What? <laughs> they gonna shoot you down to the spot? Come on, girl, just like pass me a note or something. No matter who you ask, you'll get the same answer. Oh. That's because no one remembers it. I guess that maybe what the blank part is referring to, like they, it probably is. So like, okay, uh, I'm like trying to think, I'm like maybe, no, well, okay. Well, if they swapped everybody out with Homoculi that week, then I guess it makes sense they'd be able to wipe just like a week of memory from the Homoculi, you know what I mean? Cause it's like, you make the Homoculi, they get the memories of the person whose like DNA they were made from, but I mean, it also makes sense, I think, that they would be able to like, whatchamacallit, just um, like remove some of their memories, you know what I mean? I think that makes sense. What do you mean? You don't remember? I woke up one day and the entire city was ruined. It was like a tornado had swept through. Not only were the outdoors destroyed, but the inside of our homes too. Something terrible must have happened while we were sleeping, but none of the residents remember a thing. How could that be possible? In fact, my home was torn mm. to pieces too. But I don't remember anything that happened back then. But that's not all. Within that time, the date in Kanai Ward had moved <laughs> forward <laughs> yeah. by a week. That's totally what happened. They just like, erased their memories of it. I think so. I think so. A whole week passed while you were asleep? I think so, but we never quite found out what really happened. <laughs> so sketchy. When we woke up, everyone in Kanai Ward barely even noticed that it had been completely ravaged. Businesses with dealings outside the city were aware they had a week of no activity. But right afterwards, Kanai Ward was completely isolated, so no one could look into it. Yeah, it was right when they, um... Isolated them too. I guess isolation kind of makes sense too if they want to kind of like just control what information gets in and leaves, you know what I mean? In the end, it was all forgotten while things were still uncertain. No, I think it's more accurate to say we chose to forget. It was all too bizarre and scary. It 
kind of became a touchy subject. Mm -hmm. and no one wanted to talk about it. Okay, I kind of thought it was one of those things where if you like talked about it, you got like shot on the spot. But I guess it was just kind of like traumatic and like weird and nobody wants to kind of acknowledge it. I can understand that. So that's why the Blank Week mystery became taboo. There were lots of different rumors about it at the time, but no one knows what really happened. Some people said that Kanai Ward's clocks had all malfunctioned. Some said we were all drugged by some organization. Mm. Others think our internal clocks got messed up and we all fell asleep for a week. Oh, God, she's such a freaking homunculi. But we don't know the truth. What do you think happened? It's like time froze for the whole city. All we know is that my grandfather and others like him completely vanished back then. It's like literally anybody who didn't get the blood test, they just killed. I guess they were able to kind of like, I guess maybe during that week, yeah, it's like they swapped out the people that did get the test. Then anybody who refused, they just like killed or like abducted, I guess maybe. I'm not really sure what exactly they would do with them. Because I feel like, I don't know, I guess... I feel like they would have just killed them, to be honest. But I guess it's just the fact that it kind of specifies missing is what makes me think maybe they would have done something else. Hanai Ward's unending reign also began right after those events. Huh? The Blank Week mystery triggered it? Okay, there's definitely something with the reign, too. I don't know how that's important exactly to this whole conspiracy. Was it sunlight that Wesco was talking about? Oh, maybe that's what it was. If um, the homunculi are exposed to sunlight, that's when they start to act weird. Maybe. Because he said, yeah, if they were exposed to something, they it would, like, you know, trigger them to, I don't know, turn more into monsters, or it would just trigger something bad, I think was the implication. So maybe it is sunlight. Huh. Maybe. Because, yeah, if that happened right afterwards, I feel like it's got to be, you know, important somehow. I was like, fatal flaw to them. Another flaw, or they're exposed. Brief experience, a defective homunculi was exposed to blank and died. Oh, man. I could totally see us walking with Karumi, and then, like, right when she steps into light, she just, like, dies. Trying to adjust for it worked against us. Blank made them even more violent and blank. So, it seems like maybe, yeah, if Karumi gets exposed to sunlight, she might become a zombie. Then become even more violent. I think it did say it took like a day for them to turn into a zombie though, as well. But just a thought, just a thought. Oh, the profiles are updated? I haven't really been looking at these. No! <laughs> no, you just wanted me to see that, didn't you? Damn it! Oh, he doesn't have a fucking X on him. God, I know. I knew he was still alive, but I still didn't want to believe it. Ugh, I hate him so much. I don't know if I've really been reading through the profiles too this much. Is so mysterious. I'll do it at the end. That's all I know. I see. Thank you. <sighs> Even I don't know what's going on here. But all that info sure seems useful. She should have told us about that sooner. You can't blame her. It's taboo, remember? <laughs> I think somebody did make a joke. They were like, what's next? They were like, first zombies, what's next? Vampires. <laughs> and literally, if we do do the sunlight thing, they are kind of vampires. <laughs> Vampire zombies. By the way, Yuma, did you search the whole factory? What was the truth that voice was talking about? I still don't know. But I haven't checked everything. I don't know what's behind that door. We've already come this far. We might as well check everything. Oh, yeah, we got the key card, too. Wait, don't go alone. It's too dangerous. She sure loves to act before she thinks. <laughs> okay, Kana Ward's unending rain started after the Blank Week mystery. Oh, my God. It totally is the sunlight thing, isn't it? A few years ago, a blood test was conducted on all Kana Ward residents. Interesting. Wait, I want to look at the profiles again. Did, um... Did Swank and them? Did they get X'd out? I see people talking about Swank and Seth and them. Oh yeah, I guess not. I guess they're still alive too. I thought y'all all got cubed. Still no updates for Swank. He's such a non-character. <laughs> oh gosh. I mean, how is Swank even 
more forgettable than boy. <laughs> That's pretty bad, homie. That's pretty bad. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's still making noises. Oh my goodness. I just want to get closer to him without getting eaten by the zombies. Oh my goodness. Hey, hey, I'm a pal. What's up? Who's such a homie? Who's such a homie? Okay. Let's go in here. What's wrong? Well, I think I heard some strange noises inside. I also hear something. Oh, please let it be the other detectives. Please. That's what I'm hoping for. Kurumi, it might be dangerous up ahead. I'll go first. Huh? But... Leave this to a detective. I'll be right back once I've confirmed it's safe. Then we can check it out together. Please don't disappear on me again. <laughs> you had me worried back there. Rip. Uh, okay. But... Please be careful. <laughs> Yuma like, let me make sure it's safe when she's the immortal one. Allegedly. In theory. In my theory. <laughs> That I think, in my opinion, allegedly. Thank you, Mega Shark ZDA. Did you see? Did you see that Vivia and the others did not have an X on them? True, true, exactly, exactly what I've been saying this whole time. They're not dead. I hope they're in here. Okay. What is going on here? Oh no. I feel like I might know where this is going. Oh god, yep! <laughs> We're watching the meat bun creation, aren't we? Oh god! Yep! <laughs> I had a feeling! <laughs> the fucking meat buns! So that's hey, cool. Is that? <laughs> oh, so that's cool. It is some very special meat. A corpse? A human corpse? It's on the conveyor belt. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, I just figured out something else. Okay, if all of Kanai Ward is homunculi. Then these are human corpses. So they're eating like their original versions. Because, yeah, the homunculi only eat humans, right? So that makes sense that they put like the real human meat in the meat buns for the homunculi to eat. <coughs> oh, I'm so glad we were not able to buy meat buns. <laughs> While we were looking around the city. Oh, Jesus. Those meat buns. No way. You're kidding. Oh, my God. This is horrible. So that's what happened to their real human versions. That's probably what happened to, like, the grandpa and all the people who didn't get the blood test, too. They probably just turned them into meat buns as well. Who would make such a thing? Master, there's something else over there. We should check everything first. Oh my god. I'm so glad we didn't even buy those meat buns for Yako, dude. Oh god, I still love Yako, but Jesus Christ, he was eating humans the whole time. Ugh. Jesus. Oh my god. Oh yeah, thank you, NR China 20 Rose. So you were kind of on the right part with the zombie made meat buns, but just slightly. <laughs> Yeah, I realized it. I was like, why would they be making zombie meat buns if the homunculi are in Kanai Ward? Then I was like, <laughs> wait a second. That's, that's not zombies on that grinder. Nope. It sure isn't. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Demon 30. Good thing you didn't eat the meat buns. Wait. I wanted to buy those so bad. So bad playing the game. Jesus Christ. Hey, oh, thank you. Uh, I think about what's up ahead. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> He's like, can I just feed a Lulu? Can you just not click on the door, Weeby? Thank you. Spanish Lie 120. A new ingredient saying Soylent Green was on. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. Wait, we did technically eat one? When did we eat one? Wait, we, we ate one? 
Win! I don't remember that! Thank you, Dabbler Dragon. You can eat a meat bone, though. I did on my playthrough. Ugh, I don't think I- I don't think I did that right! Oh, God. I'm sorry for your loss, Dabbler Dragon. I was like, I don't- I don't think I did? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, probably either way Yuma did eat one off screen, didn't he? Yeah, they're just freezing the corpses until they're ready for consumption. <sighs> they're all real corpses? Jesus Christ. What is this? This is a fridge, isn't it? I don't know, but it looks kind of cold. Oh, you know what? I kind of do think I remember Yuma eating one, because I think they were all like, these are so fucking good, Yuma. You're going to love it. And then Yuma was like, eh, it's okay or something. Oh my god. So many refrigerated bodies. Whoever did this must be a total psycho. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, poor Yuma, dude. He knows. He knows. He knows so hard. On? These aren't fake. They're real human corpses. Oh my god. Master, look! There's something in its pocket! In its pocket? It looks like a note, but the handwriting oh. is hard to read. Maybe someone was rushing to write this before they died. Where am I? Where am I being taken to? Everyone here is a dangerous criminal that deserves the death sentence. That ruthless killer, that vile kidnapper. Everyone's crying as they pray to God. Will we be serving our sentence here together with no trial? What? These are criminals? Everyone here is a dangerous criminal that deserves the death sentence. That ruthless killer, that vile kidnapper. Everyone's crying as they pray to God. Will we be serving our sentence here together with no trial? So, wait, these are criminals? I honestly just assumed it was everybody in Kanai Ward. Shit, if only we'd never been caught by the WDO. They locked us up in here like animals, these bastards. We were brought- What? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Plot twist! It was the WDO that was uh, supplying the specialty meat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, yikes. <laughs> Shit, if only we'd never been caught by the I I knew. What did I say? What did I say about number one? I said he was evil, guys. This whole game just proves my theories. The old man is always evil. Always! Now you guys get it! You get why I'm old man phobic! They locked us up in here like animals, those bastards. We were brought here by the WDO's number one. He's called the... What? It keeps getting... Oh my god! It keeps... It keeps continuing. So he's the original homunculi too? Because he's the world's greatest mind. They mentioned that earlier, too. Holy, oh my god. Oh my god. This is, <laughs> this is getting wild. Freaking wild. Holy shit. Moculus, where did it mention, like, the original one? I think it was this guy, maybe? He mentioned the original Homunculus. That was a thing, though, that they mentioned. Faithful Project, that he was like the original one, the greatest mind. Oh my god! Why would the top detective do this? What is he thinking? How can this be allowed? Damn it, what will happen to us? No cuts off oh, that's here. so sad. <gasps> oh no, you must. What? The WDO did this? Oh my god, that's like Yuma's whole thing is just being a detective and to learn this? That like completely throws everything out of whack. What is up with Makoto too? Like, is he, does he... Because I feel like this is all even to break Yuma even more. Because it's like, okay, so now his friends are allegedly dead, which I don't actually believe. His friends are, you know, quote unquote dead. And now he's learning that like, his whole like persona job is like 
you know, based on like this evil corporation. Like, what does Makoto get out of this? It's gotta be focused, right? And yeah, the extra illegal thing was brought up again. I had, I felt like that was kind of like a red flag, but I couldn't really like, you know, <laughs> put, I couldn't really put my finger on it. Oh, Spanish fly, all this boomer phobia. <laughs> Let Margula cook. <laughs> he is the only one that seems okay so far. Him and Zange, I think. I want to believe that too. Wait, want to believe what now? It's gotta be bogus. Ha <laughs> ha, girl. More Delulu than me. Why would someone write down a lie? in their final moments. For real. If what's written here is true, then I don't know what to believe anymore. Well, if these guys are all dangerous criminals, they didn't deserve to live anyway, right? <laughs> uh... It's not something you should worry about, Master. Just because they're dangerous criminals doesn't mean they should be slaughtered like this. Jesus it's Christ. It's not right. And why turn them into meat buns? God. <laughs> oh no, you must! Calm down, Master! It's better not to think about it! Oh my god! Shut up! <sighs> I'll make it a solution key for now. Oh. We are finally catching a glimpse of the truth. But it's not over yet. Oh! <laughs> Can you just screw off, Makoto? The mystery you need to solve awaits outside the factory. You want to expose all truths, don't you? <laughs> this is the truth you love so fucking much, huh, Yuma? What is what has Makoto got against the truth? Then press on, detective. <laughs> He's like, how dare you, Yuma? How dare you love the truth? I, on the other hand, embrace Delulu. That's what Makoto's thing is. He's the Delulu detective. <laughs> Everyone should live in Delulu constantly. <laughs> you can't learn the truth. Hurry! I'm with you, Makoto. You can't trust anything anymore. So that you can keep trusting in yourself. Come oh my on. god. Solve the mystery. Jesus. Dance monkey dance, huh? <laughs> it looks like Shinigami's comforting him. There, there. Sorry. Sorry you ate people earlier in the game, Yuma. That's that's pretty sad. That's a pretty big bummer. Oh my god, this is a lot. Um, let me um even better. <laughs> oh my god, thank you in our China 20 rows. It gets even better. Go through the door. <laughs> I see, yep. <laughs> Learned a lot. Learned a lot about Khan I Ward. Chapter 3, we made you eat one. God dang it. I was like, I feel like I kind of do remember eating one, honestly. And yeah, like everybody around, like not everybody, but Yako being like, they're so good, man. They're the best thing ever. And then Yuma being like, and eh, it tastes okay. It's just whatever. Oh god, now it's making sense. Yuma was like, it tastes like chicken. <laughs> and that's what happened. Thank you. In our China 20 rows, this means all the Kanai Ward were, aren't cannibals. Homunculi are a different species than humans. They cannot... <laughs> the same cannot be said for Yuma's die. He didn't know. He didn't know. Oh my god. Yuma eating a meat bun is optional. Good job. <laughs> I don't think so. I think I ate one. <laughs> But thanks for the Delulu Dono. And thank you, um, Demon30. I'm getting Kokichi Chapter 4 vibes right now. Kokichi Chapter 4 vibes? I guess from uh, Makoto, you mean? I could see that. And thank you, Strawberry Vivia, Makoto. Yuma, how dare you start cooking? <laughs> Don't let him cook. Don't let Yuma cook. Don't let anybody cook. <laughs> God, I hope we didn't actually make a meat bun, though. Surely not. Surely not! Surely not! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. It, don't come in here, Karumi. It's best you don't. <laughs> god, you can see the meat! What's wrong? What was in there? Oh god, you can see it behind her! What an evil shot! No, there's nothing. Nothing <laughs> at all. You don't want to go in there, believe me. Huh? Oh. Too bad. <laughs> On a totally separate note, Yuma, do you see these meatballs behind me? God, they look so, they smell so fucking good. I want to eat one right now. What is it? <laughs> you look pale. <laughs> Why don't we grab a snack from the, uh, from the conveyor belt, Yuma? No, I'm fine. 
<laughs> then Makoto's gonna come on the speaker. I thought you loved the truth so fucking much, Yuma. Why would you tell her? Tell her you guys have been eating people. It's best if Kurumi doesn't <laughs> learn about the meat buns yet. <laughs> Not She's meat on the bun. Things for so long. <laughs> oh my god, on the meat bun. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. No. I can't let Kurumi see what's in there. I guess I could put a trigger warning for this. This has been a lot for sure. Um, I guess I'll change this to trigger warning. I'll just put the actual trigger in the, uh, uh, what would even, how would I even describe this? Like, cannibalism? <laughs> I guess that kind of spoils it though, too. I guess uh, I'll kind of think about it later and put it in the description later. Thank you, uh, EDMG7. Kurumi, I found the secret of the meat buns. It's really humane. It's a really humane recipe. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Has a lot of heart in it. <laughs> hint, hint, wink, wink. Hint, hint. <laughs> Good one. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, maybe just disturbing content, I guess. <laughs> Something like that might work. Trigger warning, meat buns. They'll know. They'll know. No. We have come this far. We can't leave hey. yet. Come on, Yuma. Let's expose the truth. Yeah. You don't want to know, girly pop. You don't want to know. Oh, is it this way? Okay, it's this way that we're supposed to go. Warning, meat buns. <laughs> I'll probably just put, like, disturbing content or something like that. Oh, God. The truth is waiting ahead. Are you ready, Kurumi? Oh, gosh. Yes. Or body horror. I guess that kind of sounds decent, too. I'll talk with the mods later. The emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. Huh? Mm. Never mind. Same the WDO thing. Oh, God. It's so fucked up, though, because it's literally them supplying the meat. Oh, gosh. Two shards up ahead? I will keep an eye out. Uh, how can I focus on shards with all of this going on? <laughs> this is too much. I can't think about shards right now. Not the girl dinner! <laughs> girl dinner. It's just a little girl dinner, Yuma. Come on. Stop seeing, being such a baby. <laughs> girl dinner. Oh my we god. Okay, let me look for the shards. <laughs> oh god. Oh man. Okay, let me. Watch out! I don't think I see anything. It's girl yeah, dinner. Yeah, pretty mangled if you saw the smoke. <laughs> Y'all are wrong for that. Y'all are so wrong for that. Oh my god. It'd be kind of fucked up if I ate meat buns after this one. <laughs> I don't know if they sell meat buns near my place. <laughs> It'd be kind of fucked up if I did that. <laughs> Just post a picture on Twitter of me eating meat buns <laughs> with no caption. <laughs> Just enjoying some nice girl dinner after the stream. <laughs> Just that. Okay, recall memories with Vivia. Oh, thank you, Vivia. Oh, you always show up just in time, King. I love you so much. I love you so much. You're the only one who can fix this. <laughs> the only one. Vivia. Oh god, did Vivia eat the the girl dinner too? The meat buns. Just thinking about what might happen. We all did. We all been living here. Oh god. No wonder they want to fucking close this off from the rest of the world too. If people vacationing came and eat ate the meat buns, like this, <laughs> this tastes kind of funny. <laughs> what kind of meat is this? What is this? It's Makoto's house. Oh no, it's another factory, I guess. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, is this what's causing the rain? Kind of looks like it. Probably. A massive chimney. This looks like the public bath for the village. Uh. Okay, I think it's over here. Oh my god. Memory shard, copper. Oh, Yako! Oh, you've come to save me too. Oh, I love you, Yako. Oh man. Oh. It, hold on, Master. There's zombies over yeah. there. Let's not go this way. I thought for a second maybe like another uh, 
um, like, random encounter I could get. Okay, okay, I'm gonna save. Try to, try to compose myself right now. <clears throat> oh, God. And then I was gone. And that's what happened. We were eating people the whole time. And that's what happened. Okay, what does it say? Mind cleaning? The fuck? Is that the final shard in the whole game? I guess it could be. We are pretty far in. Oh my god. It's a pretty close one. Oh! What's that? What is that machine? It seems to be connected to the chimney outside. Yeah, I feel like this is uh the I don't know, storm making area or like Whatever factory. It is. It's a bit excessive. <laughs> Mondo butter. Now that's an exotic butter. The Mondo butter. <laughs> Could this be part of the truth he mentioned? Master, there's a switch. What do you want to do? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's... <laughs> what do you want to do? Um, I have a feeling that it is sunlight. That fucks these zombies, these homunculi up. And we're about to turn off the rain, aren't we? Aren't we? Oh my, this is quite nice. Oh no, are we just gonna make like a huge army of like bloodthirsty, angry homunculi out of the city? Because I feel like that's what we're about to do. <laughs> Let's turn it off. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? <sighs> From this angle, it looks like the remains of an old bathhouse. Oh, Shinigami. Glitching out. Yeah. Seems like that hasn't been used for a long. I seems like it hasn't been used for a long time. Oh my now god. There's just a machine being used for who knows what. <laughs> Nothing lasts forever. <laughs> oh, who's about to destroy the entire Are you area? Put yeah, I'm gonna save. <laughs> this seems like a good time to save, even though I just saved like a second ago. And that's what happened. And then I turned the entire uh, con I word. To a lawless land full of uh, bloodthirsty homunculi. And that's what happened. What? Oh, we're so it's fucked. <laughs> that's so crazy. Huh? <laughs> oh, God. Yep. Sunshine and blue skies. Oh, yay. What a beautiful day. <laughs> Just <laughs> Time to start the apocalypse. No big deal. Has been declared. Oh. Please seek shelter inside. <laughs> I guess maybe if they're inside a building, it stops them. Emergency has been declared. All residents from turning into monsters. Seek shelter inside. <laughs> Not the announcement. Seek shelter inside. The sun, it is your worst enemy. It's Makoto watching. <laughs> the apocalypse never looked brighter. <laughs> it do be looking nice and sunny outside. It is kind of funny that, yeah, like a uh, beautiful sunny day is what causes, uh, <laughs> causes the apocalypse to happen. The oh, gosh. clearing up. So the stuff coming out of the chimney oh, was now Karumi's about to try to eat our ass. Rain clouds? Huh? This machine's a device that creates rain clouds? <laughs> I don't see her either. The We're so screwed. Artificial clouds to make it rain. Sun code. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> now y'all calling it sun code now? <laughs> New game just dropped. To think, even the rain has been artificial this whole time. There is no truth in this city. Everything is a lie. Yeah. Oh god, I'm just waiting for Karumi. Oh, we solved the rain code! <laughs> Device located in the restricted area can artificially generate rain clouds. <laughs> yep. Here we go. What is this? Oh. Ah, we're gonna have to go into the mystery labyrinth. <laughs> oh. I don't know if the mystery labyrinth is gonna kill all these guys, though. Oh yeah, there they are! Super zombies! <laughs> oh god, turn it back on, Yuma! Oh, Jesus. 
It's like he's about to get bigger. Was it like this kind of version that tore up into the place? Oh no, she is! Oh no! Oh no, I knew it. Oh god! Oh god! What's wrong? We need it last. Fucking Makoto, dude. You bitch. Makoto Kagatsuchi! We should turn off the alarm before we celebrate our reunion. Aren't you worried about Kurumi's body? Will it reverse it if we turn Here. it back on? Lend me a hand. <laughs> oh god, hell no! <laughs> Can you hold my hand? Can you hold my hand, Yuma? Oh my god. This dude. I guess it might reverse it if we turn on the rain again. I wasn't sure if it was like a permanent effect, you know what I mean? Once the rain was turned off. That's a good solution. I thought, yeah, it would be permanent. Don't worry, guys! <laughs> Attention, citizens of Kanai Ward, don't worry, the smog is back. I repeat, the smog and acid rain is back. It is once again safe to go outside. Oh, yikes. Okay, is there something in the rainwater too that makes them calm down, I wonder? Or yeah, is it just the not being around sun? Well, that's a good uh, fix at least. Oh, Lord, I was like, I don't know how we're gonna... Fight a whole entire city of zombies. <laughs> oh my god. Give time for grandfather to celebrate her entrance into junior high school. Yeah, kids for the jackets from. That's sad that um Give time for grandpa's alive. Yeah, his granddaughter now is like a homunculi. The rain. His real daughter is gone. It seems like things have settled down. What was that? <laughs> Wait, is that really what red rain was? Wait, is that like, oh man, I need to get the red rain lore. I was like, was that what they were like conspiring about maybe? Interesting. Uh, back to rain code. <laughs> is it because I stopped the device? Master, be careful. Congratulations, Yuma. You finally arrived at the truth of this city. Congratulations. Enough. I've had enough of your games. Games? I've been taking this seriously the entire time. <laughs> Games and me? I'm not silly goofy like that. Especially when it comes to Kanai Ward. <laughs> That's so not my personality. What is your goal? Why are you doing this? You still don't know? I want you to understand the truth about this place. The truth? You mean this big device? This is but a small portion of the truth. Of course, I'm the one who created this contraption. Oh. Although it's a rather makeshift design. So it is. Okay, so when he halted the homunculi research, it was just changing everybody into homunculi in the city for sure. Using the old bathhouse's chimney was brilliant, hmm? The melding of my genius ideas and the world's best technology. Why did you even make it? I don't owe you any explanations. <laughs> but you've made it this far, so you deserve something. I guess I can tell you a little bit. As you know, Amaterasu's experiment resulted in defective homunculi. Yeah. Do you know the fatal flaw within all defective homunculi? I have a One feeling. is an extreme decrease in intelligence when they're resurrected. In other words, they turn into zombies. They may be immortal, but upon returning from death, they become monsters that seek human flesh. The other flaw is sunlight. Mm. Sunlight? When defective homunculi encounter sunlight, they become extremely stressed and lose control. Okay, yeah. They'll return to normal if you block out the sun. But while they're berserk, they lose all reason and memories. Okay. Reason and memories? <laughs> to be exact, it's an allergic reaction to ultraviolet rays. <laughs> You're if clapping left in the in chat. This state, they eventually die. Okay. Oh, so they just eventually die? If they're left in sunlight? Oh, dang. I guess. Oh, man. Is that what we're going to have to do at the end of this? Like, kill them all? 
Uh, I guess they are like abominations, but still, I mean, they are basically indistinguishable from humans, so it still feels really bad. I don't know if we should just kill them, just let them, you know, chill. And Khan I Ward. Well, then again, they do eat humans. So maybe we should kill them. Oh, God. I kind of feel like that is going to be what uh, happens at the end of this, though, right? Dang. I guess that means Yaku would have had to have died no matter what, honestly, because he was a homunculi already. We just keep Yaku alive. <laughs> we just, you know, he's like the one zombie you kind of keep around. <laughs> you keep alive. You keep around. You just feed him a little bit of human flesh. Come on. <laughs> we got a little extra we can feed him. <laughs> To be exact. Oh no, wait, that does mean, no, does that mean Martina's a zombie too? Damn it, no! That's not cool. No, then we have to kill Martina, God. Why can't she live? Why, why is it so hard? But things will continue to spiral out of control. Ugh. Once they die, they turn into zombies. Well, now that Yaku's dead, we can just keep Martina as our little zombie <laughs> that we keep around. We just keep her inside. We feed her little human bits every once in a while. <laughs> we feed her some meat buns. You know, they're already made. So just, you know, feed her some meat buns. <laughs> keep her alive. In other words, we'll be all good. Is the all day, Shobu. Enemy of the defective homunculi. Oh, that's totally how this is going to end, though. That's so sad. It's like... Ugh. It's weird, because it's like I do feel bad for them, but they do eat people, uh... So you are blocking out the sun for them. And to do that, you created a cage of rain over the entire city? When the clouds grow thick enough oh to block the sun, rain starts to fall. It's a natural phenomenon. Okay. To keep them stable requires clouds thick enough to cause rainfall. I can form rain clouds all across Kanai Ward from here. The altitude and wind conditions make it ideal. Okay. The result, of course, is that Kanai Ward became a city of unending rain. Why build such a major contraption just for some defects? Because I want an immortal army, you dumbass! Defects, hmm? Who are you to say something like that? Hmm. What do you mean? Oh! You've lost so much on your long journey here. But now, well... Look at your hands. What do you have left? Does he know about um, Yuma's lost memories too? You're right. Maybe I am empty. But I've been able to face many truths by relying on the strength of my friends. I didn't make it this far on my own. It was thanks to those who helped me. Especially yours truly. So even though I'm empty, I have everyone with me. That's why I was able to corner you. Yeah, Yuma, come on, help speech. Corner me? <laughs> An interesting way to put it. But if you want to corner someone, this is how you. Oh do shit! It. Okay! No fair! He never said he had a gun! Yikes! Pull the trigger and you're dead. Looks like I've got you cornered. Yuma. Hmm. There's a spark in your eyes. Like you still have an ace up your sleeve. Okay. Uh, fine. He was looking at something. Play your card. I guess the mystery labyrinth. Let's finish this. Probably. Use the power of the Book of Death. Yep, he's uh, oh, he's already aware of it. I wonder what this kind of looks like, too. I guess we solved, like, the mystery of the what city, but... We still haven't solved the mystery of Makoto Jesus himself. Why spoiled the whole thing? <laughs> but let's do it! <laughs> Lame! Honestly, you'll be killed if I don't, Master. Thank you. The target mystery is the mass of corpses found in the factory refrigerator. Okay. Considering the scale I mean... of all this... Even I don't know what the mystery labyrinth will look like. Probably will be, like, huge. Now that I think about it. What's wrong? <laughs> Hurry up. The mystery you want to solve is right here. His Come memories? on. Solve Kanai Ward's ultimate secret! Expose all of my crimes! 
Homie, you know you're gonna die at the end of this, right? It's kill or be killed. I guess he might know something else that like it's gonna kill somebody else. He doesn't know everything about the mystery labyrinth, it seems like. Or a decent bit about no time it, at least. Are you sure? One wrong move and you'll be forever trapped in the mystery labyrinth. Of course. And I won't blame you if that happens. You've saved me so many times already. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> blush. All right, here goes. Even though you've had right. my lifespan Let's like fifty times, this may be the final mystery. Level. Whoa! Okay, epic introduction. I'm kind of curious to see what it looks like. About flowy. <laughs> Y'all say Makoto? It's flowy. Nice. Oh, the epic introduction. If only Makoto could see her slaying. Oh man, this has been quite the chapter so far, hasn't it? Okay then. Wait, if this is our last one, can we do it normally? You know, together. <laughs> Aw, cute. <laughs> sure, I don't mind. <laughs> but I want to kick you in. Oh, she blush. That's kind of nice. I actually get to walk in together. Cute. Finally just us two. Just like chapter zero. Although I do wish Vivia could come along. Oh, wait. Wait, it should be paused. Shouldn't time be paused? This, oh my God, is he a death god? Why is he not paused? Oh my god, I do not understand. What is he? Why? What is he? I don't want to save over Halara though either. I'm like, it's not like I'm gonna ever use this chapter one save spot. <laughs> I don't want to save over Halara either. They're the other character I simp for. Um, I don't know if we should, I feel like we should probably do the mystery labyrinth next stream, but maybe we could do some gumshoe gab or something. In the meantime, because I don't think I'm going to be able to get through uh, an entire labyrinth in this stream. I'm too, uh, <laughs> I'm too uh, hungry. But uh, maybe do some gumshoe gaps since we haven't done that. Um, let me read some of these. I feel like I probably missed a ton of uh, tonos. I got really into, uh, <laughs> I got really into the story again. Let's see. Yeah, I read that one. Thank you, Mark Corian. Not a huge fan of meat bun flavor. <laughs> I hear it varies from person to person. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you, Demon30. Funny thing is the meat buns are a popular thing in all of Khan, I ward. Everyone loves meat buns except Yuma, who said it's okay. Early foreshadowing. That's what I think, too, honestly. I feel like that was meant to foreshadow it. I didn't really know, like, why they even had that scene in the first place when we were watching it. But now, now I get it. And then, thank you, Mario MP 98 Imagine having a dinner with her knowing this. <laughs> I don't think we will be having a dinner with her after this. I think Karumi is probably going to have to die, honestly. I think all the homunculi are. And thank you, Big Chunk of Yomi Slander. Asi Kadaka finally used that scrap idea for... <laughs> Danganronpa 2 Chapter 1. <laughs> that was such an interesting conspiracy theory, how that just, like, blew up. I still don't really know where that came from. I remember I was, like, planning on making a video on it at one point, just because I was like, how did this even get spread? I feel like it was just some, like, fan edit that mentioned it, and people were just like, that's a cool idea. Let's pretend like that's a thing. Thank you, Strawberry Vivia. There is, like, some other stuff in Danganronpa, like, other, like, I don't know, conspiracy fan theories that, like, kind of come out that aren't real, that everybody just, like, believes for some reason. Reason. But uh, I, I thought about making a video on that, but it's kind of been a while since I've been doing like Danganronpa videos. Thank you, Strawberry Vivia. 
Makoto, so what do you think of our Krabby Patty secret formula? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> it's better not to know. It's better not to know. Thank you, Sereza DL. Girl dinner, meat buns with a mondo butter and fried terry terry. <laughs> ah yes, all the exotic butters. <laughs> oh god. And thank you, big chunk of Yomi Slander. Man, I did miss a lot of these. Yeah, I got really into it. Sorry. I got really into the game and kind of uh, lost uh, lost the plot a little bit when it came to reading Donos. So I wonder what would have happened if Polara had actually gotten the chance to explore this area in Chapter 4 instead of going to the lab. Oh my god, they would have been shook. I don't know. I wonder... Well, I don't think Polara is dead anyways now, but... I wonder if they would have been in more danger if they went by themselves. I guess maybe... It's kind of hard to know if they met up with everybody else or not. Thank you, uh, Oprah. Welcome to Kentucky Fried Corpses. Cannot take your order. <laughs> That's the other uh, popular uh, popular food in Con I Ward. You got the meat buns and the Kentucky Fried Corpses. I mean, chicken. Thank you, Jacob, for his neutral his neutral special. He wields a gun. Are you talking about Makoto? God, he was kind of reminding me of a <laughs> of a Zero Escape character there. I was like wanting to make a a reference to it, but I think it'd be a spoiler. And thank you, Dabbler Dragon. Have you ever watched Sweeney Todd? I feel like I have, but I don't remember anything about it. I don't know. I feel like I probably just heard about it. Probably not. I don't think so. Does that include human eating? <laughs> Is that a thing? I guess I might watch the intro video if I end up doing the gumshoe gabs. Did you guys want to do the gumshoe gabs? Um, or should we just... I don't know. I guess how long they are, but... I think personally I'm cool with doing it. I kind of want to do some of them before, like, you know, I finish the game. I should have been doing them going throughout the chapters, but I don't know. It just it's kind of awkward to fit them in the streams just because, like, the investigation part was already so long. Or, like, the investigation in, like, daily life kind of was already so long. So just kind of never really got around to it. It'd be nice to at least do, like, a few of them. <laughs> I got one. I got two two donations back to back. One saying they're quite long and then one being like they're really short. <laughs> I could maybe do some of them. I'm not really sure. Why did you <laughs> let go halfway through? I couldn't help it, bestie. It's for good luck. We can't just start breaking tradition, you know. <laughs> I've gotten used to this view. Actually, can I switch to the gumshoe gaps like from here? Oh no, I can't. I wonder if um I guess I could always just load a file if we can't do it um later. In the beginning, you were so terrified of the mystery labyrinth. All will be long. Could do a couple if wanting to check them out. I guess we could do that. I'm not really sure. Each gumshoe gap for each character is 30 minutes. Hmm. I feel like maybe I should at least do like the Yako one. How many characters are there? Is like Yuma? No, <laughs> not Yuma. There's Yako, Vivia, Fabuki, Halara. It's like, I guess like two hours in total, kind of. Maybe that means I've grown. Oh, I can note it. Oh, you can get it from the title screen. I'll just do that then. Let me um just close it and reload it. That works. Then we can just load it later. Should we do Yako? I kind of feel like we should do Yako in like, um, whatchamacallit, an honor for him. It is not 30 minutes. Maybe all the gumshoes together, but not, but they ain't 30 minutes. Okay. I think, I think technically we did do like one of them. I think I might have done one of Yako's like the very beginning when we were playing, but I don't think we, uh, I don't think, I don't think we did very much of it. I'll probably just restart it, honestly. Okay, yeah, I did do. Wait, only have two? What? The iron coffin bed. What? Wait, what? Wait a second. I haven't gotten all of Yakos? What? <laughs> what do you mean? Iron coffin bed? I thought I got all of them. Did I really not? I'm just gonna have to finish this through watching like a YouTube video or something. 
God dang it. Maybe I should just do these other ones then. What is it? What did I miss? They're locked until you watch the one before, but yeah, there's still a hint though that says I haven't obtained it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Yaku's must have been somewhere. Uh, god dang it. Ah, uh, god dang it. Uh, the one on the train station. I thought I got that one though. Uh, literally all of them except for one. Ah. Uh, I try not to kill myself. Oh, there's a chapter select option. So do I just go and like, they unlock after you do them? But no, it's like, it says there's a hint that says it's like missing. I can try it, I guess, but I don't think it's gonna work. We'll just start with Yako's first one and Chapter one for shard. Quickly go back to chapter one and get it. Is that it? Oh, after I finish the game. <sighs> Does that mean I should just, um, so let's just do Hilara's then? <laughs> Wait a second, should I, uh, <laughs> close and load it one more time. <laughs> okay, so we'll do the other characters. We'll do Yako's at the end since um, apparently this chapter select and I can go back and get it. I guess um, I guess somebody was saying it unlocks after you beat the game, maybe? We can do Hilara, or we can do Vivia. I like Vivia. You know, I was like thinking about this like all week. Since somebody in like a dono last stream was like, who do you like better, uh, we be Vivia or um, which I'm gonna call it Martina. And I said Martina at the time because I felt like I didn't really know enough about Vivia. But after that chapter, Vivia is so sweet. I was like, I like him. I do like him better than Halara after that. Cause he's so, look at him. He's a good dude. He's a good dude. Are right, we, is the chapter select unlocked already? Should be available now. Where would it be though? Start? Oh, choose how to start the game? Oh. Would it be at the very beginning? Oh. How long is it gonna take me to get the shard though? I don't even I don't even know if I'm gonna do all of it. I'm just gonna start doing the other ones and then I might do it off screen if I get the shard later and then go back and blah blah blah. You know what I mean? I, let's just do Vivia. <laughs> We're talking for too long. <laughs> I feel like we're debating this for too long. But I do see it. I can go back, because um, I don't even know if I'm going to do all of these in this stream. So I think it just makes sense to go ahead and start doing the other detectives. And then um, I'll figure it out. Whew, finally finished a bunch of chores. Maybe I should go make some coffee. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> he sneezed. Sorry. I had some soot in my nose. Vivia, you were in there? Yeah. I was here the whole time. You could have at least said you were there. You scared me. Yeah. If you don't mind, I'll start doing that next time. Uh, I don't mind, so please do. <laughs> Yuma, you're too kind. You never mind talking to me. He was talking, to, he's talking to me. <laughs> he's not talking to Yuma, actually, he's talking to me. You know, I wonder why he always crawls into cramped spaces like that. You find it calming in there, right? But wouldn't you be better off on a couch or bed? If comfort level must be quantified in terms of the physical strain on your body, then yes. But this... Reminds me of something. Reminds you of what? Well, what do you think? What a do day. He remembers when he's inside the fireplace. I think I remember um, doing this before. I just kind of wanted to redo it. I have really bad memory. Is it good a memories? Good memory. 
He is a human cat. That's why I love him so much. Yes. And because he's hot. That's correct. <laughs> when I was young, my parents would always discipline me by locking me in the oh, storage. Oh, yeah. Room. This was weird. I do remember this now. And he was, like, happy about that? I was like, I think that's child abuse, homie. When I'm in here, I can relive those memories. Huh? They don't sound like nice memories if you were locked in there. That seems pretty traumatic to me. No. <laughs> those are good memories for me. It's <laughs> so weird. <laughs> so strange. Yeah, my parents really sucked, so it was kind of nice to get some time away from them. I think that's also child abuse still. I have many brothers. We all yearned for our parents' love. Oh my god, there's more of them? Uh, 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 Vivia, are you telling me? There's there's more of you. <laughs> can I can I meet these brothers too, actually? <laughs> Just like the hot emo guy family. So no matter what shape or form it took, oh. I was happy when my parents paid attention to me. Oh Jesus, that's sad. I I see. Oh I know. How about you join me, Yuma? Once you get used to the back pain, <laughs> it's actually not so bad in here. <laughs> Don't worry, once you start, once you, your body starts morphing into the shape <laughs> like mine and you get this amazing posture, it actually feels great. N no, I think I'll pass. <laughs> Master, you and Vivia seem to have grown <laughs> closer. Oh, uh, cute. Oh, man. One of them is Midori? How dare you? <laughs> oh my god, we were playing, um... What is it called? Is it called Gardic? Yeah, I think it's Gardic. It's not Gardic Phone, is it? Is it Gardic Phone? That game where you, like, draw stuff. We were playing that on the Discord yesterday. <laughs> Every time there was a Vivia prompt, he would, like, eventually morph into Midori. It was so sad. <laughs> just because the green hair, some people would see the green hair and just be like, Oh, it's Midori. It was like, no, it's not Midori. <laughs> It's Vivia, how dare you? How dare you get the two confused? Oh, Desi Eco is bang. I thought that said bongos for a section for a second. I'm just thinking too much about uh Yurchin to Die now. Man, what is it gonna be an update for Yurchin to Die? I think um I think there was like maybe like um a new new like cutscenes or whatever that released, but hmm. I don't know when the chapter is gonna release. <sighs> I'm starting to get used to being alone with Vivia. Oh my god. What a flex. What a freaking flex, Yuma. Ugh. Knowing who he is, this silence isn't really so awkward anymore. We don't have to force a conversation to break the silence, which makes it easier to be around him than the others. I do kind of like that about, like, uh, you know, well, I guess it mostly happens when you've, like, known somebody for a long time, but I could see that in general when there's just, like, somebody who's kind of quiet, and you kind of understand them, and it's not, like, meant to be rude. It's like, oh, I can just relax. I don't have to, like, force conversation. But that can get kind of awkward. <sighs> I want to die someday. Poor Vivia. I want to, let's dive into this. Why do you want to die someday, Vivia? Huh? That's awfully sudden. Oh. <laughs> Did I think out loud again? <laughs> That's no, don't worry about it. That's like my catchphrase or something. You sure did. Uh, sorry about that. Guess I surprised you. I'll be careful not to think out loud next time. You're free to say what you want, but it sounds really concerning. Yeah, for real. And I've been wondering, what do you mean by someday? Hmm? What do you want to know? Well, all people die eventually. I suppose I'm wondering if you want to die sooner. Yeah. Saying someday makes it sound like you can't die. Oh. Wait, is that what it is? You can't die? Because of his forte or something? Probably not. That explained why you'd say something so strange. <laughs> Stop it! No, not the chat! Don't worry, Vivi. You will in chapter five. Shut up! He is alive. Okay, I will show you the profiles. There is no X on him. He is alive and well. Huh? He's undead? <laughs> yeah, no, that's everybody else in that's the city. That's a wonderful deduction. I guess I'm wrong, though. Well, I don't know about that. What do you mean? Being unable to die sounds like it's straight out of a story. <laughs> so romantic. You're gonna be really happy about the plot twist coming up in chapter five, buddy. Yuma, 
What would you do if you gained everlasting life? Oh, I can't with all the foreshadowing now. What would I do if I lived forever? See the world a hundred years from now. Talk to people from all over the world. Can't think of anything in particular. See, see the world a hundred years from now. Um, just talk to people. I'd like to talk to people from all over the world. I feel like that would be what I would want to do, just travel and like meet new people. There's a limit to how many people you can meet in a lifetime. Learn like every language, that'd be kind of cool. But it'd be a different story if you lived forever. Oh, <laughs> that sounds wonderful. Although after a certain number, you begin to notice patterns. <laughs> so it'd eventually grow boring. Y'all are so wrong for this. You're like, don't worry, Vivi. You're gonna love chapter five. There's immortal humans and you get to die. <laughs> it's the perfect chapter for you, bestie. Ugh. Anything else? Hmm, what? Uh, if I had everlasting... No, oh, can I choose everything? I oh, can't never mind. think of anything in particular. That was quick. Huh? Quick? There is no end to human greed. Hmm. Some people think that, but it's not true whatsoever. See, look at Yuma. He's so pure and innocent. Everything comes to an end. <laughs> Shinigami always Just looks like so how you concerned. couldn't think of anything else you'd want. <laughs> Shinigami always looks so concerned around him. I think I just meant I didn't have any good ideas right now. Someday, greed will end. Just like you would die before your greed could be satiated. Humanity, too, has a lifespan. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. We are destroying the planet and stuff, so... If you were so. to live forever, you'd see how tough life can be. It may be fun at the beginning, but eventually, I'm certain you wouldn't desire anything else. <laughs> Who was pure and innocent? <laughs> Remember that, Weeby. This is before he learned about the meat buns. And once you were bored of everything, you'd reach the same conclusion all others would. That you hope to die someday. Hmm. Uh... Damn, that's deep. The moments you lose all desire, your final desire for death would be born. I mean, I guess it is kind of, I do kind of understand what he's trying to say, you know? It's like uh, humans aren't really meant to live forever and eventually would just desire death, I guess. But it's like, I guess it's just depressing to talk about. <laughs> it all makes sense now, doesn't it? Sure, homie. Does it? <laughs> it does it? Uh, but wait, Vivia, by that logic, doesn't your desire to die mean you're immortal? Hmm. You're free to think what you want. Guys, see, even if the rest are dead, Vivi is alive because he's immortal. He lives forever. Do you think his beauty could be killed? It can't be. Exactly. That's Period. Not an answer. Period, Vivia. A mortal king. It's enough for today. I need to go back to my world of books. I don't know if he could be immortal due to his forte. I feel like by immortal, I don't know, my interpretation would just be that he could like switch to his ghost form and like stay in his spirit form for I guess however long he wishes to before going to like the afterlife. But that's the only thing I would really think uh, about being, uh, you know, immortal. Uh, I'm not Delulu, guys. Did Stop he it. Just give me the runaround, <laughs> or is he always like this? I can't tell. I wonder if I'll understand him better someday. You guys are Delulu for thinking he's dead, okay? When all the facts, all the facts and logic point to him being alive and immortal. Ugh, what a king. <laughs> Master, you and Vivia seem to have grown even closer. You say I'm Delulu? You guys are Delulu. <laughs> he's alive, damn it. Oh, God. Oh man, who's my favorite alive character, Vivia? It's you, King. If he does, then at least we have his brothers, that's true. We do have his brothers, so there's at least that. Did I choose the next one or did I choose the same one? Hopefully, hopefully I chose the next one, right? Hopefully. If not, we restart it. Go be over this. Hmm. Starting to get used to being alone with Vivia. Oh, uh, wait. He is, this silence. Oh, uh, did I choose the same one again? I did, didn't I? 
My bad. I don't know why I thought I would auto choose the next one. Small brain moment. Okay. Gab with Vivia. What does Gab even mean? Does Gab like talk? I feel like I've kind of heard of it before, but eh. Okay, it's like a oh, it's a little, uh, you know, um, trivia about them since we're doing the gabs. It's cute. The song gives me such Vivia? Persona vibes. Persona 5 vibes, I guess, specifically. I was thinking of making some coffee. Would you like some? Oh, do you like coffee? Coffee would be nice. But there is a much greater problem. He likes coffee, too. Oh, my God. I like coffee. You like coffee, video? We're kind of like... Are you feeling what I'm feeling? I think we're kind of like soulmates. Oh my god, Vivia, you sleep? I also sleep. Oh my god, Vivia, you breathe? I also breathe. We have so much in common. It's crazy. What problem? You eat meat buns, Vivia? I also eat meat buns. The large beast dwelling inside me oh. is roaring louder than oh ever. Oh my god, he is such a chuny emo kid. I... No. No human could defeat the beast. Have to keep the beast inside. That's why I have to tape up my body, man. He can't come through. What are you talking about? We can either grant its wish and coexist, or be consumed by it. <laughs> Those are our only options now. God, who's that Shuni character from uh, Psyche K? That's what he's giving me right now. I remember he has like the... I forgot, he always has like something that he like... Well, like the theme song, whenever he does it, it's like, Judgment, da, da. But he always has like a little like demon or something inside of him. He's like, I have to control it, Psyche. I can't, I gotta keep it inside. That's what he's giving me right now. Right now, it is about to crush my heart, for I have ignored its desires. I have no <laughs> clue what you're talking about. Please, help me. What? Help you with what? What? Even if I ask him, he probably won't tell me anyway. I guess you have to figure it out for yourself. The beast from within is about to crush his heart <laughs> because he has ignored its desires for too long. Is he just long. hungry? Is that it? Um, what Vivi is trying to say is... <laughs> I'm just trying to describe my IBS, man. <laughs> Gotta take me to the toilet right now. He has a headache, his back hurts, he's hungry. Yeah, I think he's hungry. Should it be that you're hungry? Yes. <laughs> if I had to phrase it another way, I suppose <laughs> that's it. It was much easier to phrase it the original way I said, though. You could have just told me that. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. I can't take another step. Oh my god, dude. I would deeply appreciate it if you brought me some bread or something. The Dark Reunion, that's what it is! I love that Thank dude. Thank you, Yuma. You saved me. Psyche is such a good anime. That's probably one of my favorite like comedy ones. It's fine, but why didn't you eat anything? Not eating for a full day can't be good for your health. So you want to know why? Let's take, for example, how many would want to try climbing a tall mountain range after first seeing it? Wait, what? How many would want to try climbing a tall mountain range? I feel like this is kind of <laughs> dramatic though, man. I don't feel like it's that hard to go to the fridge and get some meat buns. Actually, maybe it was a good thing you didn't eat. <laughs> maybe it was a good thing you didn't eat anything. <laughs> now that I'm now that I'm thinking about it a little bit more, maybe he already got the ick from the meat buns. He's like, something, something about this meat bun just does not sit right with me. However, very few would actually put that desire into action. Do you understand? Not at all. <laughs> well, that's fine. I don't mind. But I do! Vivia won't tell me, so I should just figure it out again. I need to figure out why people don't go climbing mountains <laughs> to understand why he didn't eat yesterday. Jeez, this guy is way too much trouble. It's because those meat buns don't taste right. Um. People don't climb mountains even if they want to because... They're too scared, too much trouble, they lack confidence. 
The mountains don't call to them. Um, too much trouble, probably? That's kind of Vivi's because whole thing. it's too much trouble? Well, I suppose you could say that. You felt it was too much trouble, <laughs> so you didn't eat for a whole day? Could you be <laughs> lazier? Uh, you know, so relatable. Vivia, do you get theatrical like this on purpose whenever you don't want to talk about something? Do I? <laughs> we are all Frosso Ponson. It's only once you realize it that you... Speaking French now? Yeah. You're doing it again! <laughs> Master, you <laughs> and Vivia seem to have grown even Rosal closer. Yeah, I think literally the other day, honestly, this is sadly relatable. Honestly, like, that literally happened to me the other day. It was mostly because, like, I don't know why, but I swear, like, I will be, like, completely fine, and then it's, like, right when I go to bed, after I brush my teeth and done everything I need to do, then my stomach starts to growl, and I'm like, Ugh. I don't want to eat now. Like, I'm going to have to brush my teeth again and do it all over. That's when I get too lazy to eat. But I think that literally happened like the other day. I was like, I don't want to make something. I'm sleepy. But now I can't get to sleep because my stomach's growling. Ugh, first world problems. <laughs> For real. Definitely very first world problems. But still, I get you. I get you, Vivia. Oh my god, we have more in common right now? Oh my god, we're like kind of clicking. Don't you guys think we're clicking? <laughs> you guys feel this in chat? <laughs> It's like you guys are just watching me go on a date with Vivia right now. <laughs> what are you reading? Hmm? Why do you ask? <laughs> what kind of yaoi fanfic is this one? It's rare to hear you laugh. So I was wondering what the book was about. I see. So you wish to learn about the book. You won't know by the title alone. But the genre is... <laughs> BL. Fantastique. Oh, fantastique. Fantastic. Okay, fancy. You could just say fantasy. It's not a major genre, so there's no need to be ashamed if you haven't heard of it. And how would that be different than fantasy? The definition of fantastique is up for debate, but the ones I prefer to read are the ones with ghosts and demons. Mm. Stories of mythic worlds that cannot exist within our grasp of the laws of nature. Uh, huh. <laughs> it's like you just pull his book over. It's like, actually, I think this is just printed out mystic messenger fan fiction. Give that back. <laughs> no, it's fanta- it's mystic- fantas- whatever I just said. Phantom mystic. Um, excuse you, Yuma. <laughs> Stop reading it. That doesn't sound interesting at all. I guess it's kind of like how people who obsess over music end up listening to stuff regular people can't comprehend. I guess that makes sense. Well... I can lend it to you if you're interested. Um... Um, sure, I guess. Whatever helps us yes, bond more. <laughs> Why do you look so tortured, Yuma? I was like, please, no, don't make me do this, Weeby. <laughs> <laughs> you're so kind, Yuma. But it's all right. <laughs> I can tell you really don't want to do that. I can tell you're not interested at all. That's not true. Hang on, I should tell him directly. I'm sorry, I think I'll pass. Uh. No need to feel bad about <laughs> it. I figured the odds of you saying no were 99%. He still sounds kind of sad, though. Besides, this book isn't widely read in the first place. Still, that surprises me. What does? Me reading the Fantastique? Well, it's more like I didn't expect a detective to be reading stuff like that. How do I put this? I thought detectives would read more logical stuff. Like mystery stuff? Doesn't it feel weird to read something that's not realistic? Reading just makes me feel sick, period. No, I actually prefer stories where logic can't be used to explain it away. Be like an escape too, you know, if you have to use logic all the time in your real day-to-day -day life, it's kind of nice to escape to a world where it's like, you know, different logic or, you know, you don't have to use it as much. I see. If you think that illogical stories feel strange, perhaps you believe all mysteries must be solved. All mysteries must be solved. I never really thought about it, but maybe you're right. You don't feel the same way, Vivia? 
I believe some mysteries should never be solved. For example, UFOs and other supernatural phenomena. <laughs> that reminds me, John. You guys see those, like, what was it? The aliens found in, like, Mexico? Those look so fake. <laughs> <laughs> but uh interesting i believe some mysteries should never be solved um for example ufos and other supernatural phenomenon i kind of get that too i'm like super interested in space but i always get freaked out whenever i see any kind of alien confirmation Many people harbor their dreams and fantasies in those mysteries so shattering them is simply cruel besides besides <laughs> Memories from our childhood are not all beautiful. That definitely seems... However, there is no doubt they are innocent. That's actually pretty wise. Interesting. If there is a river of time, its water is horribly murky. There he goes again. I'm sure it's something he doesn't want to talk about. But why would he think that way if he believes not all mysteries should be solved? Maybe that's where his secret lies. Oh uh, yeah, this is very um, representative of chapter four. I guess he's already kind of like putting out like a warning a bit of like not wanting to, uh... hey, it's... hey Yuma, maybe all mystery shouldn't be solved. Maybe we shouldn't look into what uh, Yako's doing, huh? Huh, bestie? <laughs> Master, you and Vivia seem to have Yay. closer. Bow, 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 Music in this game is so good. Okay, oh man, we're already the last one. These are pretty short. I feel like, yeah, it didn't take long at all to get through these. I feel like 20-ish, 15 to 20 minutes. Talking to yourself? What's wrong, Vivia? Were you reading Fantastique again? No, it's a mystery this time. I think these are nice once in a while. Okay, actually reading a mystery. Oh yeah, um, let me... Oh yeah, big chunk of Yummy Slander. Thank you, sorry, I guess I kind of missed this one. I was just too busy staring dreamily into Vivia's eyes. By what I've looked up, Halara has the most fan art out of the main group, not counting Shin and Yuma. Vivia is fourth and Fabuki is last. Oh, interesting. Dezu beats uh, Fabuki? Wait, Vivia is fourth? Wait, wait, wait. Lara's the most fan art, not counting. Vivia is fourth and Fabuki is last? Interesting. Thought there'd be a lot more fan art for Vivia. Do people not simp for Vivia like I do? I have to change them. I have to change them. And now you're talking about me being. Oh, god dang it. Thank you, Strawberry Vivia. <laughs> Vivi would definitely read some Mebi fix for sure. No, he would not. He would not. He has taste. He he was speaking French earlier. He has taste. Not gonna be reading the trashy Mitch fanfics. He's probably reading. He would read the McDonald's fanfics before the before the Mebi fanfics. Oh, so you read those too? <laughs> Well, I guess it doesn't fit me. <laughs> One loading screen said that Vivi would read anything to pass time, meaning he'd canonically read Vivi Fix if you gave him some. You guys just don't have to give him any. He, he will never get access to that, okay? He'll never get access and he'll never read it. And he... <laughs> Shut up! Stop bullying me! I'm being bullied again! Oh yeah, Mebi's Martina X Weeby now. Thank you, Pella Pella Kissy. Thank you. It, it, of course you would read Weeby and Martina, of course, because you know, that's amazing and beautiful. <laughs> Wait, I I won't even I won't even dare think of the original Mebi, because it's it's been replaced with Martina. Thank you, Martina, for having a name that starts with an M. God bless you. Another reason why she's perfect. It is a bit of a cliche for a detective to read mystery novels. So you haven't read the genre in a while. What's this one about? Hmm. Well, I suppose I'd feel comfortable telling you. Huh? What do you mean by mm. that? Oh, something you're embarrassed about? Is this BL, finally? The protagonist is an earnest rookie detective. Oh, I know, he's just like Yuma for real. He began his investigation after receiving a request from a certain girl. 
Her mother died under suspicious circumstances. Who killed the girl's mother and why? The rookie detective continues his desperate investigation. He seeks the truth, all for the sake of this girl. Okay. But the truth that awaits him is cruel. For the girl murdered oh. her own mother. Bum, bum, bum! I was like, it's gonna tell the story. <laughs> I was like, kind of expecting it to turn to that story that uh, Nagito told in uh, chapter two. <laughs> <laughs> for a second. I think this one's pretty different though, right? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, how did the other one go? Because I was referring to the other thing that I don't know if I can specify what that thing is because it's a spoiler. Wow, what a twist! The girl may Ooh, not have meant any harm, but her actions unintentionally okay. caused her mother's horrible Unintentionally? Death. It was a tragic accident. The rookie detective didn't know if it was right to solve this mystery. What was the point in exposing this cruel truth to the public? God, this does really seem to be like... <laughs> the protagonist seems so much like Yuma. Under a standard set of values, one would keep it a secret and remain quiet. There would be no benefit to telling the innocent girl she was the cause of her mother's death. However, uh, the girl wanted that mystery to be solved with all her heart. Oh, damn, that's sad. Not knowing she was the culprit all along. <sighs> damn, that's rough. Should we reveal the truth to those who seek it? No matter how cruel it may be. <laughs> he really just like, hint, hint, wink, wink, Yuma. <laughs> Maybe don't open up the mystery labyrinth in chapter four, huh? <laughs> Maybe don't do that shit. Would you say lies made from kindness are truly kind? What do you think the rookie detective did in the end? Or rather, what would you have done, Yuma? Me? Oh god, I have to choose. Solve the mystery, wouldn't have solved the mystery, I'm not sure. I mean, he's gonna fight me, but I feel like that is more true to Yuma's character to solve the mystery. I think I would have solved the mystery. Hmm. I see. <laughs> I see. Gets his box cutter out. <laughs> Interesting. What did the rookie do in the end? Well, human cells will always replace one another. The old vanishes, and in time, the new turns old. Considering that, am I the same person at birth as I am at death? He literally never answers a question. He just like always dances around it. There you go again, trying to muddy the waters. Are you saying I should just read it myself? Well, who knows? A very uh, roundabout way to say no spoilers. You told me pretty much the whole thing, but <laughs> kept the conclusion a secret. Wait, that book's story, is it about you, Vivia? Hmm. Uh -huh. Why do you say that? It's something you mentioned before. Not all mysteries should be solved. I so feel like you're trying to hint something at me. Maybe it's your personal experience that led you to believe that. <laughs> your deduction makes sense, but I'm not sure myself. Please don't dodge the subject. I told you, didn't I? I don't think all mysteries should be solved. Whether the story I told you now is from a book or my life, it doesn't change a thing. Anyway, I'm off to explore another world inside a book. So, which is it? If that's what Vivi has been through, why tell me about it? Hmm. Maybe in his own way, he wants me to understand him. <laughs> He's just trying to get you to not kill Yakko later. That would be nice if it's true. Hmm. Maybe this is an unsolvable mystery. Unsolvable. <laughs> Master, you and Vivia have forged the ultimate bond together. Yay! Good for you, Master. I'm happy for you. Okay, nice. I feel like maybe we should do one of the goofy ones. I think maybe I'll do like two this stream and then like two next stream. I guess there's also the DLCs too, so um, probably always do one of those as well. I feel like maybe the goofy ones next since uh, Halara and Vivia are both pretty serious. So I feel like it kind of makes sense to do like Either Fubuki or Dezuhiko next. I kind of do want to do Dezuhikos. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of find it fun to hate on him. 
I mean, I, I, I like him. I think, kind of. He's funny, he's funny. I'll give him that, I'll give him that. We reached OTP status, yes. Oh, wonderful. Oh, actually, we still have Yako, too. It's like, how long did that take? Like 20, 30 minutes? I'm trying to think. Does he guys are funny? I do kind of want to do his. We can do his next. I kind of want to do, yeah, a more goofy one. Since, yeah, I feel like, I mean, I love Hilara and Vivia, but they are both very uh, serious, you know what I mean? So I feel like it's kind of nice to maybe do like a, uh, kind of, you know, divide it up a little bit. I think I already read all of their um, things. Custom made designer beanie is waterproof and cost him several months pay. <sighs> Such an over exaggerated <laughs> sigh. What's wrong? <sighs> so me when I'm trying to get somebody to ask me what's wrong. Oh, nothing. Jeez. <sighs> hmm. Why did you have to be a dude? <laughs> huh? That was unexpected. Oh, I had God. Such high hopes, you know. When the chief said he was bringing <clears throat> one more in. I was hoping for a bright young cutie. Man, you already got the bookie. What more do you want? And as she saw my incredible heroic feats, little by little, oh we'd God. fall in love. <laughs> he is so into Delulu. A secret interoffice romance. Oh, nice and sexy. Oh, Jesus, that face. <sighs> but instead, the chief brought in some dirty kid with amnesia. All my high hopes were for nothing. <laughs> You're pretty much a little kid yourself. Don't worry, Desi Hugo. You can harass other women. <laughs> Do you? And I'm sure you will. It wouldn't have changed anything, even if I was a girl. Desu Hiko, <laughs> you have no one to blame but yourself for that. What? Uh, as a dude, anyone would have some hope. That's how dudes are. It's as common as not washing your hands after using the bathroom. But I wash my hands. <laughs> Wait, what? What? <laughs> Kevin is not washing you. Learn something new about you today. <laughs> it's one of those people who says stuff like that. Like, yeah, everybody does it, right, guys? <laughs> Wait, you mean you don't do that? Uh, oopsie. <laughs> uh, I hate this. Disgusting. You toyed with my innocent heart. <gasps> Let's not shake his hand ever. Huh? Wait, you're seriously sulking about this? Why would I not be serious about this? I'm dead serious in my sulking. This is a bit much. I thought he was half joking. I didn't think he was completely <laughs> serious. God, he has such a tragic life. He'll be a pain in the ass if he keeps on like this. Maybe you should do something to cheer him up. Hmm. But what should I do? Uh, how about I cook something? Oh my god, I can cook him some meat buns! Yes, the perfect thing to do! I don't think workplace relationships are a good idea. <laughs> how about me? <laughs> oh yes! <laughs> Hit on him! Oh my god. Yes, the yaoi root! Let's do it! Um, how about me? <laughs> huh? What are you talking about? Of course not! <laughs> Come on, man, look at how cute I am! You saw me and my girl get up, it was pretty cute! Guess not. Well, in that case, you know, oh, I don't think it's gosh. a good idea to get into a relationship with someone from the oh, man. With. I was hoping we'd do more with that. Oh, well. What? Come on, <laughs> get off your high horse already. Well, dating in the workplace is one thing, but I also think <laughs> you're not fit to be in any relationship. Kind of a. <laughs> Kind of a harasser and emotionally unstable, super, um, what's the word? Like, <laughs> immature, it's so many things. What? No one knows how girls think better than me. Do you know how much I think about girls every single day? That's not what I meant. Desuhiko, I don't know if a ladies' man like yourself could remain in a relationship with just one girl. So I figured you should refrain from that stuff, you know? Guy, you're just too much of a player, too much of a a hot guy. You gotta get a prowl, man. Huh? 
Considering how attractive you are, oh I'm my God. sure you're better off having <laughs> lots of fans. You know, you're right. I do. I gotta, I gotta leave myself open so the whole world can partake in me. You're right, I man. Think it fits you way better anyway. <laughs> Lord. Mm. Oh, he's gonna love that. Did it work? Did it work? <laughs> yeah. I, I see. Now that you mention it, maybe you're right. <laughs> Does he go thinks he looks like Vivia? I'm not that kind of guy, but I totally get that you'd see me that way. <laughs> you know what? You're a good kid. Hey, let me know if the others pick on you. I'll come to your rescue. Uh, sure, thanks. Oh, I guess we sorted that out. But I wonder if I can really get along with him. <laughs> Master, you and Desahiko seem to have grown closer. Cute. Yay. Desahiko is funny. I will give him that. Oh, man. Yuma Doobie seeming a little... <laughs> How about me? And I confessed my love. That's what happened. I love Yuma. He's so cute. Vivia, God, I thought that said undergarments for a second. Bandage-like wrapping beneath his coat, so it wouldn't be accurate to call it clothing. It's to keep the... <laughs> what was it? The Dark Dominion away or something? Oh, wait, what the hell? Did I accidentally choose Yakos? I'm back! Huh? Are you here alone, Chief? Did I actually accidentally choose Yakos? I think I did! <laughs> Why am I... <laughs> Oh, how do I feel about Dezuhiko? Oh wait, is it is it actually Dezuhiko? Wait, let me. What was that actually his? Oh crap, I messed up. Ah, we'll just fast forward. I thought I chose the wrong one for a second. <laughs> that just surprised me. Okay, it really was his. Okay, I thought yeah, I just was so sure that I grabbed the wrong one. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Oh, it's not yak over, I guess. The bookie sense of monetary value. Oh, man. She thinks an apple costs as much as a car. Girl. Girl. That's all I'm going to be saying during her gabs. Oh, is he, oh, is he really disguised as him? Is that what this is? Oh, my God. I'm back. <laughs> huh? Are you here alone, Chief? Yeah. Polar and Desahiko were here a bit ago. When I got here, they just up and left. I'm sure they're gambling again. Never mind them. Yuma? <laughs> Yuma? <laughs> this is totally Desuhiko. Yes? What is it? What do you think of Desuhiko? <laughs> Don't you think he's cool and sexy and amazing, man? Hmm? <laughs> Why do you ask? No reason. I'm curious about what you think of him. <laughs> it's no big deal or anything. I just want to know. Why would you even wonder about it? <laughs> Don't sweat the details. <laughs> I mean, he's the best detective on our organization. He's so handsome. Just tell me what you think of Desuhiko. What I think of Desuhiko? He's a great mentor. He clowns around. I don't like him. I don't know. I kind of want to see what all of these do. Clowns around. He's a great mentor. I kind of want to see... <laughs> I kind of want to see what he says if I say I don't like him. <laughs> Is that wrong? Is that mean? Is that mean to do? Would you guys be mad at me if I did that? <laughs> I could do the great mentor thing next. He's not, he's not really a mentor. Let's be real. He definitely does clown around too. That's definitely the first... Uh, the f of course, Desuhiko in the chat is like, choose that he's a great mentor. <laughs> I kind of want to do it. I want to see his reaction. <laughs> now he kind of sucks. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Um, oh, honestly, gosh. I don't like him very much. <laughs> huh? You're kidding. <laughs> you got to be choking, right? <laughs> that reaction. Could it be? Oh, man. I guess maybe I should lie and say I think he's cool, actually. I, I'm joking, obviously. <laughs> to tell you the truth. It's like a mentor to me. I think he's been a great mentor to me here at the agency. <laughs> it was kind of good to see him panic a little bit. He's easy to talk to, and he's considerate in subtle ways. 
He's rather kind-hearted, too. He's just talking about it. He's like, crap, what do I like about Hilara? I'll just say that and pretend I'm saying it about uh, Desuhiko. Oh, I see. Oh, gosh. What else? <laughs> what else, man? His reaction. <laughs> now I know for sure. Oh, you my God, he's such Desuhiko, a troll. aren't you? Huh? Yeah. You knew? That's no fun at all. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, man. You're pretty good at seeing through my disguise. I wouldn't have known if you hadn't given yourself away. <laughs> You're kind of obvious, man. But why are you in disguise anyway? Huh? You still don't realize it? I was testing you. He just wanted to hear me talk about how awesome you are. Testing? That's a test to see if you're worthy of being my apprentice. <laughs> Whoa! An apprentice? My master? Concluding this impartial examination. Congratulations, you passed! Feel free to weep with joy. I'll be taking you under my wing. <laughs> Whoa! I remember our investigation together. You were not, not a mentor at all. What? But I didn't... Why do you want me to be your apprentice? There's only one reason. It'll make me look more like a star. In fact, that it's a requirement right. for stardom. It is? Yep, there's no mistake about it. Anyway, from here on out, I need you to work hard. Desuhiko's apprentice? I don't get how that makes him look like a star, but I suppose it wouldn't be all that bad. It could be educational for me to learn from a detective firsthand. It might even help me remember my powers. I do not think it's gonna do all that. <laughs> I think we're just gonna talk about girls the whole time. You actually wanna do this? <laughs> yeah, just don't touch his hand, Desuhiko. <laughs> it's like, okay, Desuhiko, I gotta tell you the most important thing about being a detective is not don't wash your hands after you poop. <laughs> it's very important. All right. I don't mind being your apprentice, Desuhiko. It'll help me learn how to be a detective, too. Huh? Bam, you thought I meant it as a detective bam. thing? Huh? What are you talking about? I was gonna train you to become a star. <laughs> Not the ABCs of being a detective. <laughs> how to ooze charisma and charm. Stuff like that. I'm gonna teach you how to harass women, man. Give it six months. With <laughs> my training, you'll shine half as bright as me. <laughs> With my training, you'll have a restraining order in six months, baby. <laughs> that's the case, uh, I think I'll pass. Huh? You sure? You'll never get another chance like this. He just wants a wing, man. Yeah, but I think it's too good for me. It, it, really? <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, then. <laughs> Does he go so stupid? <laughs> Master, you and Desuhiko seem to have grown even closer. Oh, man, I was kind of hoping our next ones would be him, you know, taking, taking me under his wing. <laughs> Teaching me how to harass. <laughs> Teaching me how to be a menace to society. Okay, let's go to the next one. They touched hands every time they went to the backpack. Oh my god, we literally had to hold his hand to do that. <laughs> oh gosh. Freaking uh, Yuma's like, it's so weird I got COVID after that chapter. <laughs> Wonder why that happened. Oh hey, we're out here. And now the town. Desuhiko took me to a rooftop. Being so high up feels fantastic. So why did you call bad. me up here? But didn't I tell you why? No, you told me to shut up and follow along. Uh, sorry about that. I totally forgot. <laughs> I love the view from here, so I wanted to share it with you, my man. The view? Okay. Well, I guess it's not so bad, but it isn't exactly exciting either. The same place that Yako took us to? Yeah, it's not the best view in the world or anything. The reason why I love it up here is because it helps me envision my mission of becoming a star. Mm. Your mission? Yep. It's to completely capture the hearts of all the people I can see from here. Mm. If I can't charm them all... Then who am I to say I'm a star, you know? Was Desuhiko like bullied a lot <laughs> or something? I kind of do want to know his trauma dump because he's so obsessed with becoming a star and having everybody love him and stuff. It does kind of make me feel like uh, he was bullied or like kind of, I 
talking about abuse, but like ignored by his parents or something. I guess it's still kind of a form of child abuse, but you know, something like that. I suppose that's normal to expect from a star. <laughs> you <Yeah>. guys <laughs> calling them fruity already? Totally. A real star could charm a hundred or even a thousand times more people. Speaking of which, I've been wondering, why do you want to be both a star and a detective at the same time? Huh? Where did that come from? It's like, his, I feel like just being a detective is kind of like the way for him to become a star since he already has the power or whatever. Well, I figure detective work is done in the shadows, but a star kind of has to stand out and shine. I just thought it's a weird combination. I see. Well, I was planning on writing about it in my autobiography, but why not? <laughs> I'll let you in on a little secret, my man. I had the feeling he was itching to talk about it. So, the reason why I'm both a detective and a star. I should start with why I became a detective in the first place. Here's why. I had the talent for it. That's true, I guess. I mean, he could use his power, I feel like, to become a star. He could be like, honestly, like the perfect actor. He could just turn into anybody you want. Huh? That's rather short. If he was like easy to work with, then... If he was like easy to work with and then he could just charge lower rates, he could turn into like transform into like, you know, a bunch of different like big actors and like they wouldn't have to pay as much for them. So I could see I could see him having a career in acting. Yep. I've been handy since I was a kid. I was especially good at disguising myself. When I realized I'd make a good detective, it was smooth sailing from there. But you didn't learn how to disguise yourself in school. How did you know you were good at it? You might not believe it, but I was a pretty gloomy kid with some real self-esteem issues. Yeah, I definitely believe it. What, you? Really? It's definitely gotta be like his whole obsession with stardom. I always wanted to become someone else, so I started making disguises. Oh, that's sad. Though I figured I had the talent for it. I was surprised to see how well it went. You was a gloomy kid? I can't even imagine it. I guess he gained his confidence once he gained um, his forte. And I say that, but it was honestly just the angst of growing up. All that sort of stuff. It's not like I had a terrible past or anything. <laughs> so <laughs> don't worry about it. I feel like he did. <laughs> He's like, no, it's not like I had a terrible past. It's not like I, you know, it haunts me every day of my life and I think about it all the time. I get why you became a detective. But why do you also want to be a star? Well, this all started while I was still training at the WDO. I was undercover as the singer of a band at a concert. Mm. At the time, I wasn't interested in becoming a star or anything. But when I stood on stage, it was a... Uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> it, it was a what? Huh? What's wrong? <laughs> what? Oh. So <laughs> I was like, what is going on? Oh, you weren't done. <laughs> on that day, I decided to become a star. So I thought, next time, it'll be my own skills that get me up here. Well, he's free to dream uh, whatever he wants. I mean, technically, it kind of was his skills that got him out there, but just not in the same way. <laughs> but you didn't quit being a detective to chase after your dream of becoming a star. <laughs> of course not. Though the idea did cross my mind. But then I realized something. There's no need to choose. I can be both. A star gets everything he wants out of life. That's a very Desuhiko <laughs> thing to say. Yeah. But it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. I was getting barely any sleep training as a star and working as a detective at the same time. What kind of training? You know, the usual. Singing, dancing, and... Uh, uh, singing, dancing, what's the other, acting? Uh, anyway, my man, uh, <laughs> what do you think is most important about being a star? Wait, what was the other thing you were doing? Why are you being so suspicious about that? <laughs> I want to see him sing and dance. Huh? What the heck is he talking about <laughs> now? Hmm, I wonder what it could be. <laughs> what's most important for a star? Uh, what would he say? Probably like aura or something. Your aura? Nice, you get it. A real star is enveloped by a special aura all day, every day. Anyone can tell from just a glance. That's why I was willing to sacrifice my sleep to develop that aura. 
Training to develop an aura sounds kind of like something out of a comic book. <laughs> Doesn't really sound like a real thing. Day after day, I trained as both a detective and a star. Looking back now, it sure was tough. But thanks to that, I've become a superstar detective. Does anybody know you, bro? All that's left is for the world to realize my <laughs> charm. <laughs> I just gotta get famous next. I see. Hey, what's with that reaction? <laughs> After everything I've shared, nothing. Oh, Desuhiko, he is very Tolulu. It's not as though I'm I wish not I could have that. or anything. I wish I could hold. I wish I could harvest that Delulu energy, I you know? I was honestly impressed. Huh? If I had two things I wanted to be, I would have to give up on one of them. Oh, <laughs> that face he made the blush. I think you're cool for not giving up on either of them, Desuhiko. It... <laughs> Really? <laughs> what is that face? Yeah, I knew it. That's the reaction I was expecting. <laughs> Cute. All right. If that's the case, you're going to be my apprentice, right? <laughs> There's currently a special promotion where I'll put 20% more effort into teaching you how to sing and dance. <laughs> he really wants you to sign up for it, Yuma, please. Just do it for his sake. I think I'll pass on that. <laughs> <laughs> Master, you and Desuhiko seem to have grown even closer. <laughs> Do you guys think Desuhiko's gay? Or I guess bi would probably be the right term. Well, more likely for him. He's just so like, girls, 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 girls. And he rejected Yuma so hardcore in the first scene. But yeah, the blush was really cute. I like it. I think you guys said the fifth one's even more shippy. So is it gay too? <laughs> Fellas, is it gay? <laughs> Is it gay to bring your best friend on the roof and tell him about your dreams and blush? <laughs> I feel like I guess the whole like girls, girls, girls thing could just be kind of like, what is it? Like more denial or like, is comp head? Is that what comp head means? When you like just kind of, uh, kind Boy, of compulsorily act heterosexual or like kind of lean towards it just because you don't really, I don't know. I guess I don't really know the exact definition of that, but I could see that being the case. Yeah, me too. Oh my god, another date? <laughs> he took me to dinner? Well, now that we ate our fill, how about we have a little chat, man to man? Why don't we hold hands while we chat too? Huh? You want to talk? When two guys eat together, they have a man to man talk. Ah, yes. They have a man to man makeout session too. Don't, don't worry, bro. I've never just what heard besties that do. <laughs> it's just what they do. Well, that's just how it is. Keep it in mind. <laughs> How are things going between you and Kurumi? Oh, Jesus. There's nothing between us. <laughs> God, I wish that was me. I mean, um, <clears throat> um, and nothing. We're not like that, and I don't have any feelings of the sort to begin with. Don't worry, Desi. I've, I'm on a date with you, not Kurumi. I haven't even gone on a date with her yet. Even if I did, it's not like Kurumi feels the same way for me. Oh, come on, man. You're not being honest with yourself. Master, you're better off just the way you are. You have me, after all. What about you, Desuhiko? Do you have somebody in your life? <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? Of course I do. <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got tons of girls hitting on me. <laughs> Jesus Christ, those hands. <laughs> oh, really? God. <laughs> really? I've never seen them before. Yeah. There's the girl at the shop near the station. She purposely touches my hand whenever she hands me change. She purposely touches my hands even though she sees little poop particles on it. That's how you know it's true love, man. <laughs> and whenever the cashier lady looks at me, I can see the lust in her eyes. <laughs> the Delulu! <laughs> I wish I could have this, like, delusional confidence of just thinking everybody's checking me out. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, there's also that schoolgirl who blushes at the sight of me. I was, like, eating at McDonald's one time, and there was, like, this girl, and she was also there, and she was, like, eating a hamburger, and, uh, she was totally trying not to look at me, like, the whole time. It was so embarrassing for her. God, she's so in love with me. <laughs> mm. That's literally what he sounds like. Jeez, he is so full of himself. <laughs> Man, I have the so Lulu many Hiko. I don't exactly. Know who to choose. Exactly. You say that, but what type of girl do you like anyway? Hmm? My type? 
Judging from what you've told me, the ages of these women seem to be all over the place. It almost sounds like you don't care who they are as <laughs> long as they're women. As long as they want you. <laughs> hmm. Well, it's not like it can be just anybody. But I have no strong preference when it comes to body type, nationality, or personality. Just anybody will have me, man. Just anybody. So Please. basically, he's saying it could be anyone. But there are women I'm no good with. Mm. But like who? Does he even have like an ex-girlfriend? I kind of wonder that. Ladies with heavy northern accents. Mm. That's oddly That's weird. specific. Did you have a bad experience in the past? It was during my first mission for the WDL. Someone couldn't make it last second, so I was called in to provide security for a certain woman. Okay. And she was very, very Jesus. sexy. <laughs> I hate that sprite. Huh? She was <laughs> stunningly beautiful and constantly hit on me. Constantly hit on me, man. She was like breathing. <laughs> Women only do that if they really want you, man. But. Uh, he suddenly went quiet. She was so sexy, but what? What could it be? She was actually a man. She was a total freak. He couldn't do anything. Um, he couldn't do anything? Um, was it because you couldn't do anything? Because it was like a job? Yeah, she was super sexy and super beautiful. Cut those hands. She was coming on to me, but I couldn't do anything. I was so nervous, I completely froze up. A mistake of youth, but one I'll never make again. Oh, yeah, y'all wanted me to pick the uh, man option? Uh, I can, I'll redo it. I can redo it and choose it again later. That whole experience was pretty traumatic for me, so now I'm no good with women who have a northern accent. I see. Okay, wait, what? Mistake of youth. Okay. I guess he just froze up. This goes without saying, but you better not tell anyone. Right. I won't tell anyone if you don't want me to. But is it really that embarrassing? To be honest, I was kind of underwhelmed by it. <laughs> huh? Nothing is more embarrassing than that! What kind of star doesn't take that opportunity? This is so sad. On the bright side, dude, I'm totally sure she was not interested in you. If I could go back in time, I'd perform an aerial double slap combo on my past self. Okay. <laughs> but why did you tell me something so important? Because you're my man. That means I don't hide secrets from <laughs> What? <you>. Okay. <laughs> that was gay. Because <laughs> you're my man. <laughs> Because you're my man. <laughs> I mean, my bestie, my, 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 my bestie, the man, love of my life, Master. soulmate. He's like a puppy eager to please. <laughs> gotcha. I promise I won't tell anyone. <laughs> like how Yuma's not reading to that at all. Then it's a promise, my man. <laughs> my man. I don't think there's anything embarrassing about Desuhiko's story. Oh my god. But I'm happy he shared something about himself that he's ashamed of. <laughs> Master, you and Desuhiko's. Okay, nice. Cute. Okay, I can go back and choose the man one. I just, uh. Wasn't totally sure if it would be funny or not. Okay. Um. Yeah, yeah, it's this one. <laughs> My man. <laughs> oh, I know what you are, Desuhiko. <laughs> you can pretend with the whole ladies man act. But I know what you are. On our little date. Baby, what a long date. She was actually a man. Was she actually a man? It's like, no, man, I would have liked that better. <laughs> it wasn't like I checked, but that's not it. That wouldn't be a deal breaker for me oh, anyway. Oh, hey! Okay, he's by. Okay, nice. Wait, then why did he reject Yuma earlier? I'm not good enough, Tezuhiko. I'm not good enough for you. Oh, it's not. Uh, oh. Okay, then. Okay. Oh, interesting. Um, was it because you couldn't do anything? 
Okay, nice. Interesting. Honestly, I was kind of worried about him, like, I don't know, saying something like transphobic. <laughs> that's why I was like, eh, I'm gonna skip that one. That's cute. That's so wholesome. Now I kind of feel bad for doubting you, Desuhiko. Okay, look at that. <laughs> Join us, Desuhiko. Oh, that's cute. I didn't realize that. That's awesome. He's definitely been hidden on Yuma then. Well, he rejected Yuma at first, but now he's like, you're my man. <laughs> well, that's cool. <laughs> the pie representation we needed after Yomi. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank God, dude. You called me over. Said you wanted to talk? Y yeah. Uh, about that. Uh, anyway, isn't it so nice to be up here? <sighs> Another date. He's been acting like this for over an hour, not telling me why he called. Is it something you have trouble talking about? I don't know if you want to ask me a favor or something else, but you'll have to talk about it first. Uh, sorry, you're right. Uh, I'm just a bit afraid is all. We're busy here, here we go. so hurry it up. All right. Here goes. Okay. Love confession time. Right. <laughs> um, <clears throat> there's a big reason why I called you here today. Oh, here we go. Um, <laughs> what <did> will you? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Is he really? Why am I kind of shipping them together now? <laughs> They're kind of cute. Join my. Oh. Band? Band? <laughs> well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Oh, he's got a band? That's cute, too. <laughs> <laughs> this is too embarrassing. I can't say it. There's not even a single other member in his band, is there? My man, you should know what I'm trying to get at. My man, you are my man, aren't you? You should know my heart. Uh -huh. You sound crazy. <laughs> I have to do something or this won't end. <laughs> um... What is he trying to say? Oh my god, can I choose love confession? Ban what? Ban what? Ban boyfriend. Band banana bandage. Oh man, come on! What about boyfriend? I wanna do that! I wanna. Come on, it would be so funny! I wanna watch! Uh, whatever. You wanna say band? Y yeah. <laughs> uh, how about we. <laughs> Form a band. <laughs> He's so cute. Huh? A band? Blaster's going to join a band? You know, stars and <laughs> bands go hand in hand. I always plan on going solo, but well, sharing the spotlight with a buddy of mine wouldn't be such a bad thing. Oh, For that's the first cute. time in my life, I finally met someone I'd want to form a band with. A partner, a best friend, a lover, a soulmate, a life partner. Is the banana one funny? It's because I finally met you, my man. Oh no! Okay, now I'm shipping them too. Why is this moving me more than any other Yuma ship? This is so cute! Okay, no, I love them. I love them. My man, that is too fucking cute. Desuhiko. How about it? <laughs> Do you want to make a band together? Let's journey on a path towards stardom side by side. We just, we need to fix Desuhiko and make sure he washes his hands. What? Uh... What'll you do, master? <laughs> what do I do? I don't get to choose. I'm happy Desuhiko invited me, but I don't know how to play any instruments. Besides, I'm not interested in joining a band or being a But star. look at him, he's in love with you. Come on. Sorry. <laughs> I'm happy that you asked, but... No, it's gonna break his heart! <sighs> oh, he's so... No, Yuma, don't do it! <laughs> no, he's going through, like, all stages of grief right now. I see. I <laughs> guess you don't wanna. <laughs> so I don't know if this messed up for it, but... How about I support you as a fan? Uh... Huh? M my fan? Oh, his first fan. Can <laughs> I get a fan zone him? No way. I can't agree to that. You're on my level because you're my man. I mean, in a platonic way, blush. I don't mean in anything else. It's just you're my, you're my partner, my life partner, my man. Besides, 
you've never heard me sing before. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> you were so awkward. And you want to call yourself my fan? <laughs> I doubt it. You're just offering because you feel awkward for turning down my invitation. I'd rather you just completely reject me instead of saying that to make me feel better. But no, deep down, I want to be your fan. You told me before how you chose to be both a star and a detective. I think you're really cool for not giving up on either dream. And in that sense, I'm already your fan. Fan of your personality, man. That's why I'm serious about wanting to support you. <laughs> Come on, just join his band. Play the triangle or something, dude. It'll make him so happy. Well, if that's the case, I don't mind having you as a fan but i still hate that you've never heard me sing <laughs> also you know i am open to dating fans i just want to throw that out there in case you know whatever comes back up in conversation no 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 specific reason why i would say that though <laughs> so listen to one of my songs right now <laughs> oh god You're going to sing and right we actually have to listen to one right now <laughs> i feel like it's gonna be horrible yeah my brand new banger the song <laughs> of my man oh you got <laughs> Okay, no, this is like my top ship now. This is so fucking cute. I love it. Oh my god, I'm dead. I don't even care. I don't even care how bad the song is. This is so cute. What is their ship name? Like, Yusu, Yusu Hiko? Duma? I feel like Duma doesn't sound very good. <laughs> Dezuma, or maybe Dezuma. This is so cute, though. I love it. To be honest... It was hard to evaluate if Desuhiko's song was good or bad. Or Yumehiko, that's cute too. I'm not sure myself because I don't know much about music. I think it's a love confession. <laughs> He's talking about the muse had like purple hair and purple eyes. Kind of weird. How he was a detective. <laughs> a rookie detective. It's kind of weird that uh, the muse of the song and I have a lot of similarities. <laughs> that's so strange. But like his personality, the song was very straightforward and heartfelt. <laughs> I'm sure it was. I will be able to achieve his dream of becoming a star. Oh, I'm sure it was heartfelt. I don't know why, but I think it'll come true. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Master, you and Tetsuhiko have <laughs> the ultimate bond together. Oh my god, boyfriend bond? For you, Master. I'm happy for you. Oh my god, you finally got a boyfriend. Slay. I'm so happy for you, Yuma. <laughs> oh, that was so adorable. Honestly, his cutscenes did make me like him a lot more. I mean, I've always kind of found Desihiko to be funny. He's just kind of a degenerate, you know? So it's a little... It's a little hard to, like, stand him, I guess, just, like, outright. But that was really cute. I, I like Desihiko with Yuma. That was really adorable. He was really heartfelt and sweet. And he wasn't being all creepy, you know? <laughs> I ship it. I ship it. I gotta say. It's my... I gotta say that might be my favorite, uh... My favorite ship so far out of this series. I don't really think there's been any other ships I've really been interested in at all. But that was super cute. Like, just the, the song of my man. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dead. That was adorable. Okay, well, I think I probably am going to go ahead and end it here. I'm getting pretty hungry. So I'll probably eat dinner. Um, I think I'm just going to get Yako's last shard off screen. I guess I'll probably have to ask my mods for like a guide or something. And then we can do his and maybe the other ones after we beat. The game next stream i guess um so there's like the dlc is like coming out but i think there's i guess it's not finished yet i guess you guys can let me know because i was honestly planning on just playing the dlcs right after the beat uh, right after i beat the game but i don't know if i need to wait for more and more of it to come out until i play it i guess you guys can just let me know because yeah somebody was thinking about playing these when i'm doing the dlcs but uh since i might have to wait a little bit longer it might be good just to do the rest of them next chapter I guess y'all can just let me know um, for how it goes. But yeah, it was a fun stream. Thanks, guys, for stopping by. I'm glad I finally got my equipment to work again. My new uh, equipment and stuff. I think two parts are out. That's probably enough for a stream, right? I think so. Uh, well, we'll think about it, I guess. Just wait until October is finished. I guess... Well, I guess there might be... Huh, I'm trying to think. I guess there might be... 
I don't know. I can always, I guess, do something else while I'm waiting. I know a lot of people want me to play Little Misfortune. I've been thinking about playing that. I want to get back into Ace Attorney again. And I also kind of want to play another fan Rampa since it's been a little while. Uh, I got so many, like, games and stuff I want to play. <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel like I need, like, an editor, honestly, to have more time to do everything. But, uh, I'll look into that and kind of think about it. But thank you, the White Scatterbug. As the number one Desu fan, I lived for this. They're so cute. I know they are! I like him now! I can't, I can't help it. That was so sweet. He was so sweet to them. I was like, ah, oh, so nice. But, um, yeah, thanks guys for stopping by. I'll kind of, I guess, think more about what I'm gonna do for, I don't know, finishing this up and the DLCs. But thanks guys for stopping by the stream. I appreciate you, and I will see you next time! And yeah, I should have the sister lore. Um, the sister location lore video going up pretty soon, so keep an eye out for that as well. Okay, yeah. Thanks guys for stopping by the stream, and let me get this going. I'll see you next time.